And we are live. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Frustrated Podcast. After our edition, we're joining six lovely ladies. Let's get into it. Let's go. Nobody cares, bro. Get out. Get out. Go. Put your shoes on outside. You don't got to put them on in here. Right. We're live. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Fresh Air Podcast After Hours Edition. Um, we are live streaming right now to Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, and, and Rumble, Rumble, as y'all know. Um, you guys are P-Hub. all over the place. Uh, no. Yeah, P-Hub coming soon. No, Chris is on there only. Uh, <laughs> so, um, yeah. Guys, quick announcement against the show. Number one, rumble.com slash fresh fit. As you guys know, we just came off of YouTube jail. We were gone for two weeks. Um, we're back. We're here on YouTube now and live streaming on all the other platforms. But if you don't see us on uh, YouTube, you guys know where we will probably be. It'll be on Rumble because, you know, we be getting in trouble sometimes doing things. Uh, also, check us out on freshfit.locals.com, guys. For all the behind-the-scenes stuff, IC goes ahead and records uh, pre-streams before the show. So if you guys want to get a little bit more of an insider look, go ahead and check us out over there on freshfit.locals.com. It's mm-hmm. cheap to sign up. It's like 20 bucks. Uh, also, guys, get the merch, freshfitstore.com. I got my favorite shirt on right now. Chris is a bum because we all know what time it is with Chris. So uh, make sure to go ahead and get the shirt. <laughs> hey, we are early right this time, okay? So. Uh, and then also, guys, we check us early. out on our other YouTube channel. It's called Fresh Fit Clips. As you guys know, we post um, bite-sized portions of the show there. So if you don't got time to watch a full-on pod, Go and check us out on our clip channel. And we also got another clip channel called More Fresh Fit Clips. Let's get the clip channel to 1 million subscribers so we can get another golden plaque and another, uh, another 100K plaque for the More Fresh Fit Clips channel. Um, 80% of you guys that watch both channels are not subscribed. So do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button on it so that we can go ahead and hit that 1 million. Um, and then also check us out on Spotify. Most uploading every single day on Fresh and Fit and also on Fed Reacts on there on Spotify. So if you guys want to get the audio or visual v- version of the pod, go and check it out on Spotify as well. It's good. Um, and then fresh, go ahead, and guys. If you want vlogs of our lifestyle when we travel, all the fun stuff, go check it out. Also, as well, I'm gonna do more live streams on there as well, adding networking tips and as well business tips on there. So, go check it out. And last but not least, seal network, guys, give value, add value. We are, have a lot of things coming up for the network as well travel plans, millionaires coming to talk to us cow. on daily basis. And once again, guys, I value, give value. I'll see you guys in there. Uh, and check me out, guys, on Fed Reacts. As you guys know, I do case breakdowns on there. So if you like true crime stuff, go ahead and check me out over there. I just recently did an episode yesterday on um, The Sound of Freedom, as you guys know, former Homeland Security Special Agent. Uh, in that movie, uh, Tim Ballard, we went ahead and broke down uh, some scenes from the movie. Uh, sorry, some parts from the movie. And we also went over um, the differences between human trafficking and human smuggling. We went over different t- types of crimes. Um, and yeah, we went into detail on it. So if you guys want to go ahead and check that breakdown and get the background on human trafficking, uh, the the sex trafficking world as it works nowadays, especially internationally, go ahead and check out, uh, on Fed reacts. I also do like serial killer breakdowns, everything that you guys like with true crime. I covered on Fed reacts. So check it out over there. And then, uh, also go get my book. Why women deserve less out on audible, hardcover, soft cover, every type of platform you guys like, go ahead and check it out over there. Um, and then Chris, what about you? Yes. Girls, give me, give me RNC. <laughs> no, because I see in the background, right? I'm like, what the fuck's going on? Uh, give me RNC Pox on IG, ladies. Uh, make sure your page is not private. Uh, shout out to the team for social folks and the girls, and shout out to uh, the merch gang in the chat, man. Let's yeah. get it happen. This guy, man, he knows he's going to talk and he still messes up. That's funny. Uh, and guys, just so y'all know, um, we're going to have to end the show at 12 because we got some things behind the scenes uh, that we got to make sure that we get done. Um, no, it's not so fresh. You can go to the club. It's, uh, we got, I'll explain and, another episode. And what's also, going on. you got two hours earlier some great value. Oh, yeah. Facts. With Steven from accounting. Yes. So I think, honestly, bro, that's a lot of value right there. Yeah, y'all need to go check out that episode that we did with Steve on uh, setting up your business appropriately, the mitigating LLCs, your tax liabilities, S Corps versus LLCs. Real stuff that's going to save you thousands upon thousands of dollars in the future if you decide to go the entrepreneur route. Or if you want to just do a side hustle, we teach you how to appropriately set up a business as well if, so you don't get destroyed. It's not millions. If, but yeah, without further facts. ado, yeah. ladies, if you don't mind, give us your name. Sure. Your age, what you do for a living, dating status, and if you want to, of course, your body count. We're gonna start right here. Welcome back. Is that Hello. uh Destiny? Hey, I'm Maria Rosa, and I'm a singer. <laughs> I'm a songwriter. Wait, and I how, have... how old are you? 
I'm 22. Where are you from? I'm Venezuelan. Okay. Uh, and then you said you're a singer and songwriter, all right? Chama. Yeah, and a DJ too. Okay. okay. All right. Highest education level completed? High school. Okay. Yeah. And then relationship status? I'm on. I have an open relationship right she now. She belongs to the streets. Okay. Wait, where are you on Zerka stream? Uh, yeah. Ooh. I so, remember. Why? <laughs> Never mind. I'll keep playing. Is it open, like, <laughs> um, open on your end or, or both of you guys? Both. Open? Okay. Yeah. And who wanted it to be open, you or him? Both. Okay. He's Arnold, you know? He's a DJ, too. Okay. He's All right. Cuban and he's from Miami. Wait a minute. Now, yeah. What's his he name? He has blue hair too. And a social. Wait. Is it what I think it is? Yeah, Arnold. N Nano? No, no, Arnold. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. <laughs> I don't know Arnold. I was like, what's up? Nano. No way. Okay, all right. Interesting. Okay. What about you? Hi. Name? My name is Batel. Batel? Yes. How old are you? I'm 31. Wait, 31? Okay. Where are you from? I'm Israeli. I'm from Israel. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. okay. Uh, all right. Uh, <laughs> what part of Israel are you from? From Tel Aviv. Tel Aviv. Nice. Right. Um, and then what do you do for? I do marketing, marketing? web design. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, marketing for, you said for graphic design? Yeah, web design. Oh, web design. All right, mm -hmm. cool. Um, and then what's your highest education level completed? Uh, high school. And then I also served in the military. Okay. Uh, <laughs> mandatory, right? In Israel yes. for two years, if I'm not yes. mistaken. Yes. Okay. Wow. Of course. Uh, what what'd you do in the military? Did you have like a, what was your job in the, in the military? Do they give you guys an MOS? Uh, I did accounting. Yeah. Oh, money. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Of course. So Shut went, up, to, went through We're schooling. On oh yeah. Okay. Sorry. What was that? The, I went through schooling in the military for accounting. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, and then what's your relationship status? I'm single. Okay. How long have you been in America now? Almost nine years. Oh, okay. All right. So, so you dual citizen, probably, right? You, you're an American citizen and yeah. Israeli. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Are you what a fan you? of uh, art? Of who? Art. Uh, I don't know. Okay. I'm just curious. No, she might like art, you know, because of uh. Anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> <Moving on. laughs> okay. What about you? What's your name? I'm Tiffany. I'm 24. Hey, Tiffany. Okay. Um, I forgot the question. Uh, no, it's, you're good. Uh, 24. Where are you originally from? Uh, my parents are my parents are Nigerian and I'm from Georgia. Okay, Nigerian. What, what part of Georgia? Nigerian. Atlanta. Okay. Uh, how do you live in Miami now, or are you just visiting? I live in Miami. I've been here five years. Oh, uh, okay. All right. Uh, what do you do for it? I am part time server, full time student. Okay. Pursuing your bachelor's degree or master? Doctorate. Doctorate. Okay. Um, server and student. Okay. What do you? Well, first, where'd you get your undergrad from? FIU. Okay. And. Uh, pre-occupational therapy and psychology. Okay. And then, um, are you pursuing, did you get a master's degree as well? No, I'm working to, it's a program where I'm working straight to my, to my doctorate. Okay. Gotcha. A four-year program, I'm guessing? Three. It's a three-year. Okay. And doctorate in what? Psychiatry? Occupational therapy. Occupational therapy. Okay. All right. So it's one of those. When you graduate, are you going to get two degrees? Or are you going to get a master's and a PhD? Or are you just going to finish as a PhD? Just P straight PhD. Okay. I'm a PhD. All right. And then, uh, <laughs> all right, cool. And then what's your relationship status? Single. All right. That's fuck. <laughs> and PhD candidate for occupational therapy, right? Yes. Okay, cool. What about you? Um, hi, I'm Sasha. Um, I'm from Russia. Okay. My highest education. How old are you? Uh, 27. 27. Okay. What part of Russia are you from? Uh, it's called Chelyabinsk. Not many people know about it. Bless you. Okay. Uh, when, how long have you been in Miami? Uh, in Miami, six years. Okay. Um, what do you do for work? Um, I'm, I'm a bartender, and I just graduated, uh, actually, uh, in the beginning of this month with my second uh, bachelor degree, and okay. I'm looking for a job in the industry. So you, okay, so you have two bachelor's degrees. Yeah. What, what do you have them in? Uh, psychology and then information technology. Okay. Where'd you get them from? FIU. Okay. Do y'all know each other? Yeah, we're we're okay. best friends. Uh, okay. <laughs> no, that's what, okay. Right. Um, and I'm, then I'm curious. Were you guys nervous to come? Yeah. Yeah. I always didn't come. Uh, that's what yeah. she said. Shout out to my guy Charlie, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Uh, what's your relationship status? Single. Single. All right. What had y'all shook to come? Out of curiosity, because I can tell a lot of girls from FIU are like, "Yo, I hate that show. Oh my goodness." 
No. Yeah, we'll hedge our word. You can keep her straight with us. So I know we have uh, a scary reputation. Yeah. Mm. But Go we're ahead. adventurous. <laughs> we 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 just, you know, mm. live life. Just go for it. Yeah. You have to. <laughs> Who said no? Who said yes? Who decided to like actually go? I mean, we were, we were both about it, but we just were, had yeah. our like reservations. Yeah. Okay. So it's just. Is like, it a video you saw or something you saw on TikTok? I heard some things. <laughs> I, heard <laughs> some things. I know somebody. I know somebody who's been on it before, and I've seen some episodes. Oh shit! Okay, yeah. question: What'd you hear though? One thing you heard. I heard that you guys were misogynist. No way! <laughs> really? Yeah. Misogyny? That we hate women? Yeah, that you guys hate women. Who would say that? Honestly. <laughs> Oh, for me, it's the book. book. It's the, the book for me. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, that book turned book. I was like, yeah, what? What I'm scared. What? I want to read it just to be like, what's so the going title on here? just turned y'all off. I, like, yeah, because I, I don't know what the book is about, but what, I think Woman Doesn't Have the World. Go, Queen. But that's yeah. another, you know. That's why you got a big book, too. Oh, you're right. Okay. <laughs> have you read it? <laughs> no, but like, I've been on the show multiple times. So, like, everything y'all heard, let's all read I can personally say, like, it's really not that. Like, a 30 second clip that you see on Instagram. Or no, I watched like thirty the, second clip. I, I watched like full podcasts. I agree with the, a lot of things, but I also disagree with a lot of things. Okay, um, what do you disagree with in particular? Um, <laughs> women don't deserve less. Okay, and All right. um, actually, in particular, um, I don't think high value men should be allowed to cheat and oh, get okay. away with certain things just okay. because they're men or because they have money. Okay. All right. Is that it? No. Oh, there's more. <laughs> we can get into it. We can get into it later. Uh, no, I guess we can, we can uh, move on right now. Right now. You, can, you, can, you can go ahead and say it because it's fine. I'm going to touch upon you know introducing everybody. But I'd like, go ahead. What else do you disagree with? So you don't agree that high value men should be able to do whatever. Um, you think women deserve more, and then what was the last thing? Um, I don't think women should just shut up and listen to men. Okay. Um, I think shut women. Shut up, bitch. I think I think women with careers are not masculine i think it's okay to be masculine and feminine honestly i could go on and on but i don't want i don't want to hijack the show so okay. do you want to move on okay and you think women should be able to be masculine and feminine? i think I, yeah like, i yeah, think yeah. i think everybody women and men should be able to be masculine and feminine because so go back and forth um <laughs> you kind of adjust to your environment and the situation that you're in it's 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 a social construct gender is a social construct Gender Gen- roles, wait, 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 like gender, gen- like gender roles. Okay, roles. You mean you, not gender? Not gender. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> you, think, so you, th- you think gender roles are a social construct? Of course. Okay. Interesting. Anything else? No. All right. Any, no, nothing else you agree with? Disagree with. Or sorry, disagree with. I mean, if we get to it, I'll let you know if I disagree with it. All right. What about you? Hey y'all! Hey guys! Welcome back. <laughs> Hello, Welcome back. thank you, thank you. Um, my name's Anika. I'm 25 years old. I'm from Orlando, Florida, and I do Playboy and music videos and modeling. And just got into acting and got casted for my first TV show. Wait, okay. what show is it? Can you I say it or no? I can't say. It. You can't say. I can't say. It. Is it reality or just regular? What is it like a reality show or like is it like? Oh, it's like it's like an actual um TV show. Like I have an actual character that I'm portraying. I will say what her name is. Her name is Amari, but that's all I can tell y'all. Cool. But um, yeah, it's a whole. It's they asked me if I was sad certified, um, but because of the strike, we're supposed to start production. Oh yeah, there's a strike. We have yeah. Michael, Michael Blackson on. He spoke about that strike with uh, all the actors. Yeah, they asked me if I was a part of the strike. I told him I was like, I understand the movement. I'm all for it, but honestly, I'm not rich enough yet to decline any work, so I'll take what I can get. Right. Um, but production did get moved back just because of the strike. So hopefully wow. it ends soon. Everyone gets what they want, and there's a happy solution. Okay. Okay. Correct. Uh, and then highest education level completed? High school. Okay. And then relationship status? I am dating someone. Okay. Nice. How long y'all been together? Um, It's like new, like May. How'd you meet him? It's so like three months? Three mutual friends. Okay. Playboy. Did he see you on the show? Um, he hasn't. He actually doesn't really care for y'all. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but man. I told him. He. I told him. I was like, Nah, babe. Like, I fuck with him, so I'm gonna go back on. Like, <laughs> I okay. think it's cool. So he's gonna watch it. I told him, I was like, After I get off, you have to watch that episode. Okay. okay. And yeah, he he doesn't like us. He thinks that we're probably asking. <laughs> and he is song. Haitian, actually. Yes, Second sir. Yes, that's sir. Our first, that's our first Haitian. Yes, so. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, that's our first Haitian, and I am loving it. <laughs> he he doesn't agree with our views. I'm guessing. <laughs> um. Probably. He's just never really, wa- like, same thing. Like, he's never really watched an actual 
full episode. He's just he's just these clips. I told him that I was like, babe, you only seen clips, but like if they were disrespectful or if they were assholes, like I wouldn't ask to come back on. Like I right. generally like coming on. Like okay. I like the conversations. I feel like stuff you guys say makes sense. And there's nothing wrong with a friendly debate. Appreciate that. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, what about you? My name is Gigi Dior. I am 41. Okay. Um, I from? I was born in uh, Chicago. Okay. And... Where'd you like spend most of your years? Um, I kind of split. <laughs> I split it between a couple of different places: Kansas, uh, New York, Chicago. Okay. So kind of a little bit of everywhere. Okay. Where'd out. you like go to high school? I guess. And... Uh, two different states: Kansas and uh, New York. Okay. All right. So you've been all over. Uh, yeah. All right. Where, where's home for you then of the three right now um i split my time between new york and florida okay so I, I, i'm so really everywhere like, are we talking like new york city or yeah oh, yep. what part of the city from um brooklyn oh shit okay where the hipsters are at. <laughs> uh, it's going well it's not the hood any well it's going through a lot of gentrification yeah. uh, what do you do for work i am a porn star oh okay just put it out there. All right. I just put it out there. Okay. Yeah. I tried okay. That explains where she's all over. Okay. Uh, no, but remember, she was a uh, uh, sauce cast. Sauce cast, yeah. And I started with Delighted Adult show. Star last time. Yeah, and, she was and there. Yeah, I was in the sauce cast live. You got to forgive me. My memory is really bad. No, no, I'm single. You're you single? Yeah. Oh, somebody else yeah, yeah. I, I had an ex-husband we talked about. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Okay, I had an ex-husband, cool. so, yeah. Yeah. Oh, the live show. Yeah, the live show. show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. The, the very first live one. Yeah. <laughs> okay, because I'm like in my head, like, wait, what are you talking about? Well, okay, yeah, that was, yeah. we had like 20 some girls there. Okay. There was right. a lot of girls. There okay. was like 30, yeah. I think. So, uh, how long have you been in the, the industry? Uh, Three years. Oh, okay. So recent. Yeah. All right. Yep. And what'd you do before that? Um, I was a business uh, entrepreneur. What kind of business did you have? Um, I had a uh, tanning salon, barbershop, uh, real estate. I have done real estate transactions. Um, okay. I flipped houses. What made you go from yeah. business? <laughs> yeah, because you entered the, the, I can't the, say the at I can't say then. the word on YouTube, but it starts with a C and ends with 19. Oh. Uh, okay. So you were doing yeah, 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 business. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you were taking it. To yeah. get real business. Yeah, yeah then the scam yeah, yeah, yeah. happened. Yeah, okay, yeah, cool. Okay. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, exactly. Okay, so you were, okay. Because, yeah, it's, uh, for you to enter in at, because you entered at 38, right? Correct. If you're 48, not 41 now? Yeah, okay. 41. Yep. And then what's your relationship status? A single. All right. She belongs to the streets. Of course, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded like you were taking the business, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I am, I am. Uh, cool. Right. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. So uh, we already got 6,000 of y'all watching on YouTube uh, alone. I don't know how many on Rumble. But. Do me a quick favor, guys. Um, go ahead and send in your super chats now because I already know that we're probably gonna have to raise it up to well, from this point forward, probably what tw- twenty. Yeah, twenty. All right, from this point forward, guys, twenty and up. But I'll read all the ones that came in before. Um, and we got okay, so we got over ten thousand watch. We got another five and a half Rumble. on Rumble. It looks so, split. Okay, yeah, it's literally split. Um, that's why the views. But for all the haters, oh, first and fit views are down, bro. It's because we literally split our views between Rumble and YouTube. So it's yeah. like that's why it looks that way. But it's pretty much the same, if not more, views in general. Uh, Cruxy, I love this question. Ladies, what did you hear about the show before coming on? Okay, so they want uh, the rest of the girls to answer this question. Um, uh, some of them have been on before, man. So yeah, they, they kind of know. Like, what the they kind of know, yeah. They yeah. Know. Uh, question, uh, uh, Cam, two times. Question, ladies, at what age would you be okay with your son dating a girl? And what age would you be okay with your daughter dating a boy? Ladies, ask the men the same question. Okay, okay. so we could go on the table. We could start here and then work our way. At what age would you be okay with your son dating? And then what age would you be okay with your daughter dating? Um, I oh grandson. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Ooh, low Which blow. Is 41, so. Um, so wait, uh, is he a misogynist or us? I think he is. The guy, the guy <laughs> behind, the, behind the screen. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, no, it's okay. Um, I would say it's the same for both. Um, so okay. what's date, that age? I would say high school, so freshman, sophomore year, when you can actually like start to um, fourteen to fifteen. Yeah, I'd say fifteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay. What about you? Um, I say the same thing, 15, 16, right when they're like in high school a little bit, just because like they're human, they're gonna catch feelings. For both genders? Like, for both genders, yes. Okay. What about you? I mean, if it's innocent, um, you can date in kindergarten. Wait, what? <laughs> but like innocent, like oh, this like holding hands. That's how it starts though. That, that's sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you wild. Whenever, whenever they're ready. What the hell? Wait, what I was it? called grandma. <laughs> what is in Russia do they start uh dating? Honestly, in Russia, uh very early, my parents got married when they were twenty. So that's... they were they were dating for a while. I, I don't know. 
I mean, okay. like since you're like 11, maybe. You're Shreggy? So in your in your take, you think they could start dating at kindergarten? They can start dating whenever they're ready. Whenever well, they're ready. I mean, if you're the mom, this is we're asking you your opinion. Sh- if you're sure. the mother, if they want to date in kindergarten, they can date in kindergarten. Okay, you different, man. Different. <laughs> God damn. All right, what about you? Um, they can start dating, and that's for both genders, by the way, right? Yeah, no okay. difference. All right, what about you? They can start dating supervised at fifteen. Supervised at fifteen. Supervised at fifteen. So are you going to be there the whole time? You're going to chaperone it? No. Um. I mean, if you go to the movies, I might watch a different movie. You know. All right. So you'll be at the movie theater, but you won't be in the same theater, maybe. Yeah. So How do you know what's going on there? I, mean, gonna... I don't need to you know. Just, what's is going it really supervised? Next to them? Them? Yeah, that's not really supervised. supervised. Two like... seats to the left. <laughs> nah. You might as well just leave and go back home and pick them up. <laughs> I mean, I could do that too. I could do that too. So, so it's I supervised. Mean... I mean, supervising the sense that I'm driving them and like I'm picking them up. And, they can't leave. So they can't drive. You them. Can't they can do with that. That's on them. If they so you got Nigerian TV. parents, right? What yeah. age did they let you date? I mean, I know it was, it was an old fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, me, we, it was never really a thing. I never really asked today. We you just, just, you, you just did it. Just do it. Yeah. You don't got no real na- Nigerian. No, parents, my man. mom is very much Nigerian. Man, she okay. moved here when she was in her twenties. She knows the way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. What, what okay. about you? I would say 17, 18. Like, for both? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. For Israel, what ages is it normally? Uh, it's, uh, I mean, it depends. It depends, like, who we're asking because it's, um, it's a very diverse country and you have the, the more of, like, liberal side and the conservative side. So the more orthodox religious people they would like you know start dating probably around the age that they get off high school so they can get married okay as soon as possible and with the liberal side it's it depends i mean some people they date when they're 14 15 but i mean i don't know i don't really like that idea so yeah i would stick to 17 18 when you start to form a mind cool all right and what about you for a daughter to date at a joint at a young age Mm -hmm. i don't like it so i will say i want my daughter to date in her 20s 20s yeah and then uh for for son a son probably in his 17 16 whenever he wants okay okay um so Pretty much, it looks like to me, you're the only person that has a different date, or sorry, different age per gender. The rest of you guys pretty much think it's between both genders, same age? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I mean... Go ahead. I kind of thought about it. I feel like my boy could probably date, like, maybe like a year or two younger, but mm-hmm. I would also, that way I could, like, teach him on how to court a lady at a younger age, I guess. So your son could date younger? Yeah. Because you originally gave 15 and 16. I, yeah, both of them the same. But yeah, no, I say that the son can date younger. Even before that? Even before 15? Oh, your answer yeah. was 15 and 16 yeah. for both. Oh, okay, yeah. Before. So I'll leave it as my guess. Yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 yeah. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I did. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> okay. All right. Fantastic. Um, all right. So I got a question for the ladies. Um, actually, you know what? I'll read some of the super chats, then I'll get into my line of questioning here. Cool. Uh, Buy one BBL, get one free. And remember, guys, 20 and up from this point forward. <laughs> remember when a certain podcast said that you guys is very niche and corny, that you will struggle to grow a fan base based on your views? Well, congrats on passing that podcast. The subscribers rode to 2 million. Uh, okay. Uh, Wait, is it who I think it is? I don't know who he's talking about. I don't know. That's how far past Screech. grenaders we are. Screech. No, nah, I don't think so. No. Mo will tell me and talk back. Mo, Mo, just tell me. All right, Ashley O goes, funny how all these ladies want a Mr. Gray, but they are all so far from Anna Steele. She was a 21-year-old, beautiful, broke virgin who got the billionaire, not a three, not a hoe. <laughs> all right, thanks, bro. Uh, 1929G, is it grippy? Don't know. Uh, marriage caused divorce. Ladies, choose two of the following three options. One, a relationship with Drake, but you pay for everything. Two, access to Drake's properties and money. Three, having Drake's kids and getting child support. It's actually... Awesome. A good uh, question. Drake. So which of the options. three would you pick? All right, ladies. Number one, relationship with Drake, but you pay for everything. Two, access to Drake's property and money, but not him. Three, having Drake's kids and getting child support. Mm. Which one are you going with? We can start here and then work our way. I don't know. 
right now like probably a relationship and i pay you know it's fine yeah okay cool i wouldn't pick any of those like this is we'll pick one of the three if you well if you had to pick one maybe it's your favorite star then mm, maybe two yeah i i just don't like you know i don't relate to the question so much it's not like the options are you have to pick one yeah. of the three. Just pick well, one. then two. Then yeah. Then I will. You would enjoy... date him, but do you want to pay for any? But you wait. Sorry, you I have would access not to his money. I date him, and I will enjoy the property and the money because I just don't. Yeah, okay. Not okay. Makes sense. Him, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Makes sense. What about you? Two. Two. Damn. Okay. Same thing. Yeah, access to the money. What about you? Two. Russian. Not surprised. <laughs> what about you? Two. Two. All right. One. Okay. Because why why one over the other ones? Because uh, I don't have a problem paying for and supporting myself yes. in this situation. And why'd you like, pick one too? Because I like to pay for my stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. The independent boss yeah. is, bro. I think also that would open up doors being in a relationship with him. I would agree with that. Yeah. Opportunities. To make, to make, yeah, it would open up opportunities versus, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, you have access to his money and properties, but could have you gone further with access to him uh, as a... He's gonna have you stuck in the property and he's gonna be fucking another girl. Outside. But money is <laughs> no, I was thinking it more so like I could use his money to start a business, exactly. do whatever I want, yeah. use yeah, the property, yeah. like Airbnb. Yeah. That's what I was thinking about. And I wouldn't be in a relationship with him because I don't be a B of the biggest house. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, around yeah. in a house, like, no, like, sense. I don't really care for a relationship with Drake. He's not like, like I want to be outside, outside like, 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 or whatever. No, okay. house, I just give me the money, let me make my business, do what I want to do with it. And honestly, too, if you have access to his properties and you have access to his money, you have access to him so you still have the same opportunities except you're not in like a relationship so you still have the same like i would believe you would still have the same research like to me but you don't want a relationship you know you don't want someone to no. love you no i mean you don't like that i love that i would want someone to love me but <laughs> i personally <laughs> i just I don't, don't think I'm it's not, love drake, I think it's not drake that i want drake, yeah. but even if i wanted you to have to take care of everything i don't want you that bad and it the sex, option isn't know? even the option isn't even like, like y'all split y'all no it's you got to take care of that that man don't love you that's not a relationship hmm. interesting because he's not paying because i have to pay for everything that's not love so what is it it's giving i'm his sugar mama <laughs> that's what it's giving so he pays yeah, for, saying, like, paying for, for everything all the time is that what i was saying like for him i think or... they mean everything yeah but what's the problem like you're paying for everything because you have your own career okay and you're but sharing you're his sugar sharing mother with him and you're sharing together. No, it says you're paying for everything. Mm. And that's Drake, a multi however much money he has. But would it be so, different if um, he were taking care of everything? Mm. But I wouldn't let him take care of everything either. I've never been that type of girl. Like, no, I mean, I've been with, I always hope with like something. Even today, I took my man out. I was like, babe, you know what? You've been working hard for the week. You want to go out for lunch on me? Like, let's pick a restaurant. You want Italian? What you want? Like, you want steak? Whatever, whatever. Like, and then I offered him gas money, like, just to even drive us to the restaurant. So, like, I'll do, like, you know. And like, he took it? I mean, I'm sending it back regardless. You know, like I, I'm offering. I hate when people reject yeah. nice gestures from me, just because, like, especially if you do a lot for me all the time. Let me treat you, and like that's one of my biggest things. Does he make significantly more money than you do? Yeah, for sure. Right. Okay, Way more. Uh, interesting. <laughs> well, uh, no, like it's okay to like. No, no, it's no, fine. No, 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 it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. We, but I, I'm just saying, like, women tend to be generous a lot of the times when the guy yeah. makes a lot more money than they yeah. do, and there's like that potential. We appreciate gestures. Or, or, or yeah, 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 yeah. It's, yeah, it's fine. Um, just, just interesting uh, notice there. Uh, do you have something else that you want to add, or one of the no. other girls want to go? So, uh, something that, I think yeah. they pretty much covered it. Okay. So basically, if they're Drake's type, sorry, if Drake is not their type, they want to get property and access to money. If Fair enough. Maybe Drake's type relationship, but they'll pay for everything. Okay. Uh, where are we at here? Okay. Um, nineteen twenty nine G no. Uh, it goes God is king in the chat. Christ is king in the chat. Love is better than lust. F and F is the best men's podcast in the world in the chat. That's, that's true, man. We, that give is true. we give you all the most facts. Uh, Jared Choi goes, uh, Chris, yep. uh, ladies, when you post on IG and you don't get enough likes, do you take it down? And if so, why? Be right. honest. We'll just make this quick. Raise your hands if you post on Instagram and if it doesn't get enough likes, you'll take it down. Raise your hands if you've done that before. If you've done it before. I've done it before. One, the cap. two, yeah. three. Okay, what made you take it down? Um, it was a picture that I posted with one of my favorite photographers and it didn't get as many likes as we thought it was going to get. So mm -hmm. I was like, let me just take it down and try the algorithm again. But I did okay. that before, but then I just stopped doing it because I was like, I don't even care to like take it down and repost it. Okay. What about you? What made you take it down? 
I honestly don't remember, but I just feel like I've done something like that. But I clean my Instagram regularly. Okay. And I just be like, why did I post that? And I delete it. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, the definition of felt cute, my delete later, right? <laughs> so, all right, what about you? What made you? Sometimes I just post weird pictures of me. Facts. So. <laughs> <laughs> so I need to take it. What's an example of a weird picture of you? Like, what's an example? Right now. <laughs> yeah, like a naked picture. Okay, never mind. Okay, move on. Like okay. On IG. On IG. Uh, TMI. All right, fantastic. <laughs> uh, Albo Ace, the next pod with you guys in the Tates is going to be lit. Can't wait. Uh, yeah, coming yes. soon, guys. Don't worry. Gobbling. Yeah. Um, for the ladies, when it comes to cheating, is it harder on the guy or the girl? Keeping in mind the woman gets dominated and the man does the dominating. Okay, we'll make this one a simple one. We'll raise your hands. Is it worse when a man gets cheated on? Raise your hands if you think it's worse when a man gets cheated on. Two. Okay. I and think it's both. Three. Well, if you had to pick one of the great which, which which one do you think is worse? So, I mean, and you can frame it under the pretense, would you prefer, if you had to pick one of the two, your mom got cheated on by your dad or your dad got cheated on by your mom? Which one would hurt more? Yeah. So, let's sort of ask that question one more time. Is it worse when a man gets cheated on? Raise your hands if you think it's worse when a man gets cheated on. Two, three. Okay, split down the middle. And then, if a woman gets cheated on, raise it. You, you three. I can't decide. Uh, I think it's both. It's a bit, yeah. I mean, please pick one. Let's if, even if it's fifty-one percent, forty-nine percent. Like, which uh, one do you fine, think is worse? I think uh, let's say women. Guy, when the woman gets cheated on, you think it's worse? I, hmm, I, I can't. Well, this is it's fifty-fifty. Yeah, it's hard to say. It's like. All right. If I gave you the scenario, your mom got cheated on, or your dad got cheated on, you had to pick one of the two. Which one would be worse? I think my mom. I think women. Your mom getting cheated on would be worse. You think? I think so. You think that would hurt the family more? Then your mom cheating on your dad? Listen, they're both like it's it's not it's not okay. Which like, one do you think would? Uh, uh, okay, hurt the I family said more, it. I said women. Wife, okay, okay, fine. I said <laughs> women. <laughs> uh, guys have a high libido, so they want to cheat and fuck, so that's normal. So I think a guy getting cheated on. It's not normal. Okay, because you you didn't raise your hand. Wait, because you didn't so, raise your hand before, so you agree that it's worse when a woman cheats yeah. with them. Okay, and then what about you? What are your thoughts? Um, I'll say that it's worse when a woman cheats just because it doesn't happen as often and for a woman to cheat, it has to be like a very serious situation. Okay. So you think it's worse when a woman cheats as well? I guess. Okay. So the only person that thinks it's a man worse who just only her. Okay. So you think it's worse when a, when a woman cheats? Okay. No, I mean, I oh, think sorry, it's when a man worse cheats, when a man cheats on yeah. a woman. I think it's worse. Okay. Why than... do you think it's worse in your opinion? Because, well, I, again, I think they're both equal. <laughs> but you kind of made me decide between the two. So um, I think that, you know, it just generally as a female, we are more devoted and we're more uh, in, in when we're in our natural state, right? When we're in harmony and when we are in love um, with someone. So we, we don't really want to go outside and look for something else when we have what we have and we love it and we enjoy it and we just get all everything we need like if a guy you know takes care of everything and he like answers all of the love languages that a woman needs then why would she go out and and just do that so when he goes and do that it just makes her feel like she's like she's not enough or that if she did something wrong it, it's 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 a lot of like um i would say it's a hit to that to like the self-esteem and self-confidence and her mental health in general did yeah. it happen to you uh not well in my definition it did in his definition it didn't so who hurt you just tell her tell us no who i'm past that <laughs> i'm healed and i'm sending oh, you love Yes, you love a I do. I love so, you very much. Question, I send him much love. You yeah. gave a lot of arguments actually for why it would be worse if a woman cheated because you stated how um, women, you know, get emotionally tied. They want to be with one person, etc. So wouldn't it be a bigger act of betrayal since women are more predisposed to want to be with one partner for them to cheat? Wait, say that again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the, the points that you made, right? Yes. You said that it's worse when a man cheats because women want to have one partner. They're more devoted. Um, they don't want yes, to run around and have sex. They want to be monogamous. So wouldn't it be worse for a woman to cheat since she's more predisposed to be monogamous with one partner? 
Yeah, that's why it was hard gotcha, for me bitch. to give you an answer in an answer in the beginning. You know, I say it's 50 50. I think they're both like. But is it really 50 50 though? I think so. I think it, cheating is is it doesn't matter the gender. I think cheating is equally wrong. It like if okay. we, even a woman with a woman, a man with a man, it doesn't matter. Cheating is going against yourself. It's not even like it's it's beyond hurting the other person. It's like you you have issues within yourself that you need to fix. You know. So why you can be honest and like just say, oh, listen, I just don't feel this is going, you know, the the way I want it to go, or I found this girl and I'm attracted to her. Do you mind if I go try? like? But are either gender really honest with each other? No. Hmm. No. So I mean, realistically not... speaking, is requesting honesty a realistic expectation? Well, that's what I'm attra trying to attract to my life. You know, Honesty? something. Yes. But can you handle the truth? I do because I'm honest and I'm truthful and mm -hmm. I'm trustworthy. Yeah. So if guys walked up to you and said, listen, I want to have sex with multiple girls and you be loyal to me and you stay at home and you cook and you clean and you provide for me, provide the nurturing side. But I'm going to go out and have other women. Would you be OK with that? I would say you can do whatever you want, you know. If that's what please you go ahead yeah. and then I'll pack question? my stuff. Yeah, there you go. And my shoes, and we'll say peace, and we'll never talk to him ever again in my life. Because why am I there doing all that if it's just getting entertainment? Don't you, from other don't you women? think it's a bit insane though to expect honesty from someone, but you're going to punish them for delivering that honesty? It's to not you? punishment; it's expectation. It's I'm, I mean, it's it's choice. It's called, Wait, it's called say, communication. Yeah. Too y'all could talk. I feel like you could. Before you pack your shit up and leave, at least tell them like how you feel and see like. Well, I just well, feel like you have different that. points of view. Like there, people have different perspectives. So if you want to cheat, that's fine. Yeah. People, if you want to cheat, that's okay. But that is, doesn't necessarily mean we have to be together. Like, you get what I'm saying? So I don't think. So like, somebody else would be okay with that. So. so I feel like you should be honest about it, but that doesn't mean I have to be like I respect your honesty. But why do I have to stay? But imagine this, right? <laughs> A guy finally got your ass and was like, "All right, I got her." And then I'm gonna tell the truth and then lose you? Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. No, but that's something we would have been already, like, we would have found that out before you got me. Like, we would, I would, no, you know, wouldn't. yeah, we would talk about it. Cause no Cause one's honest about it. I feel like, yeah. but, and that's the problem. Cause at the end of the day, we should start being truthful about everything no, about our viewpoints. We, we agree, but like you said earlier, once I know, I'm out the door. So he don't take it. He's gonna say, you know what? Yeah, I'm never gonna cheat on you. And then, but there's so many well, women but... who are okay with like open relationships. Yeah, so some, like, but yeah. I guarantee you, everyone in this room, Maybe two of you might be cool with it. Maybe two. Who's the but... two you think? <laughs> <laughs> She's open, so her is yeah. probably her. Right? Mm -hmm. So there you go. But once again, guys don't know this, so they're like, you know what? Let me just be safe about it and not say anything at all. Well, and that's, say, but that's, that's saying, that too, that's taking a choice sorry. away. That's saying, too, that the cheating was a preconceived, like, notion. Like, they planned it, right? Like, mm -hmm. it was... Yeah. It was a thought, like, yeah. oh, I'm going to pursue this person. Is it most cheating? I rather in, like in a hookup, like premeditated, like, like cheating. Random. Right, exactly, exactly. Okay. Like, I, I don't see a lot. I mean, I, I I've seen a lot of cheating, and oh, I'm sure you have. And a lot of it, I don't think it has to do with um, planning. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a, a spur of the moment. And yep. then you said. It's taking away a. I think I feel like it's taking um a person's choice away. Mm -hmm. So I've been cheated on before, and I felt. Well, we can tell. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> well, I felt <laughs> violated honestly because um I didn't consent to keep on having sex with you after you had sex with another woman. Mm. So t to me, it was just very disrespectful, and I'm so sorry. And I just felt like it was rude. Okay. And I lost all respect for that person. So I don't know. So would so it have been if, different if had he, he told asked? you beforehand, like, hey, Sorry, you know what? I might every now and then step out here and there. Would you be cool with it still? No, I wouldn't be cool with it. But like you said, there's I mean, there's people who would be cool with it. And I feel like the people who want to step out, they should be with those people. Mm. But what kind of what kind of um bond can we build if it's built on lie? If if you're doing whatever you want and like lying to my face and eventually I'm going to find out and I'm going to feel betrayed and it's going to be a lot of drama. Hey, right, hey, ladies, hey. Let me ask you, go ahead. Let me just uh, like, <laughs> you, go ahead, you have something? Yeah. Sorry. I'm going to tell him, I tell him like, hey, this is what I want. Do you like it or no? And if you don't like it, <laughs> then I like find someone else. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I like. I don't want to be like cheating. 
fucking another guy that probably I like or I make music with or whatever, and I'm gonna be cheating, you know? No. No. What I mean is like, like you're funny. We can have fun together. She's like this cute little. But I'm the, I'm yeah. the main <laughs> girlfriend. Get your little we can have fun together. Well, smurf. She's like this little like, Barbie Smurf spark plug. <laughs> like she's so cute. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, you were trying to say something too. Sorry, you were trying to say. Oh something. no, I was yeah, just saying ahead. how she's so cute. Like she's just so. <laughs> I saw adorable. someone else. Well, like, can I add something? something? Can I add something? Into yeah, it? sure. Uh, there is also the health aspect into it, so oh. I don't know. I'm just a little concerned about that. So, but you're not gonna be with a strange girl. Like you have to know her. Like, just smell like her pussy, and if it smells, bye. You take probiotics. <laughs> I, I, I was just talking about that. I, I want to be. A, I want to be a fly in her house. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Um, so let me ask the ladies a question. Um, would you work a forty-hour work week knowing that you weren't going to be paid? Yes or no? Yeah. Would you work a forty-hour work week knowing that you weren't going to be paid? Yes or no? A forty-hour. <laughs> <laughs> Like a job for yeah, remember, a job. The whole yeah. week is like forty hours. You know, would work. you work a whole week and not get paid? No. Well, it depends, because if it's a voluntary work and I do something for the community and I help and I and I make an impact, then absolutely yes. Yeah, but it's under the pretense that you would be paid, but you don't get paid. It's volunteering is not pay, is not it's getting a paid. It's a job. It's a job. It's not a volunteer situation. Okay. Well, if um if the job is helping me progress if i gain another skill if i learn something new then yes i would do it for one week i would do it you're just not for one going week. you're helping a, co a company grow so you would work for free for 40 hours okay fantastic no, what I about would the rest learn of you? a new skill i will hire for you tomorrow yeah hire you tomorrow awesome <laughs> well, she put it like i don't that. have time for a 40 hours no you're not going to gain any any skills or anything you're just working it's like just a normal yeah, job yeah it's a normal job no, no? Yeah. what about the you straight answer is no but when she put okay. it like that i do have to do field work and that is working for free yeah but it's working towards something okay so this yeah. isn't working but what no. about you it's just free labor what about no. You? no 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 nope okay so how can you, so this is my thing. I always find it interesting that women want honesty and transparency, etc. How can you expect someone to be honest with you when they're not going to be rewarded for doing so? It, because the thing is, is that when women say, I want honesty, what that really translates to is I want transparency so I can make the best decision for myself. That's what it really boils down to. So the guys work, think of it as working a 40 hour work week, putting yourself out there and you might not necessarily be paid for it. And that's the same exact situation where a guy is being honest with you and telling you, I want to have multiple women. Most of them don't have the capacity to handle that. And he's not going to be rewarded 95% of the time by being honest and transparent about that. So you can't expect someone to be honest with you and transparent when they're going to be punished for doing so. It doesn't make sense. Just like you don't expect someone to work 40 hours per week and not be paid. But you don't think like respect and integrity is reward in itself? It's not. Women punish that. But and I'm a peace of mind. What, what, and a peace of mind. But, but, that, but, but, but who, you got to ask yourself, who, who benefits from it? The female does, not the male. And what I mean, you guys... really. If I like a person and they tell, if I like a person and they tell me, "Oh, I'm trying to be with other girls," that hurts me too. I but like. But you him. said a magic phrase right before. You said, "If what was it?" If I like him. Oh, what does oh. it take for the man to, for you to like him? I mean, that's a very complicated question. I don't know oh. what makes me like a man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but you see where I'm going here? You can't even describe what the man has to do for you to like him, and then you expect that man to get your like him. No, but in it's you. just the so thing. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's just like a, you, like uh, that's what I'm trying to say. Like. You expect him, right? You get to like him. You don't even know what you like. He somehow fulfills like. this. Oh, now you know what you like all of a sudden. I mean, okay. he fulfills what you need to be liked. <laughs> then he fulfills all these requirements, etc. Then you expect him to be honest and transparent with you about what he likes and potentially lose you after he had to work his ass off to get you to like him in the first place. I mean, but you don't even know what you like. Is still a, I, I know what I like. Okay, I mean, I have. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, listen. Come on, man. No. Come on, man, check me, man. That's what I'm trying to say, because, like, the thing is with females is that you guys just look at the finish line. You look at the guy, okay, he's attractive, he's accomplished what I want, I'm attracted to him, but you guys don't see all the work it took for the man to get to that point where you even like him in the first place. Then you expect him to take all that hard work, throw it out the window, and tell you, oh, yeah, and by the way, I'm busting my ass not just to fuck you, but to fuck five other girls. You honestly think he's going, and, and a critical thinking skills here, fuck what you want. If you were in a man's position, you worked your ass off to build that value, et cetera, 
Do you really think it's in your best interest to be honest with women? Think about this before y'all speak. No, I mean, I guess in his best interest. I do understand what you're saying, but what I'm saying is why you're putting in the work, that's where it should be established if we have the same viewpoint. Like, Mm -hmm. not while we're in it and then you decide to cheat on me. I feel like while you're putting in the work, don't even waste your time. In the beginning, tell me that's what you want. You want to have multiple, like, why waste our time? I get what you're saying, but let's go in a magical world here, right? Let's imagine this. I love magic. Imagine this. So, (laughs) let's say you meet a guy, Mm -hmm. right? You really like him. Mm -hmm. He's your ideal guy, 6'6. 220, okay. muscular, a lot of money, right? And you tell them, you know what, babes? You're amazing. I want to be with you my whole life. But honestly, I love your money and your height. And what you, you give to me all the time. Like, you're telling the truth about him, what you like the most, right? He's like, damn. Okay, it was my money and my height. That's crazy. So much of the guy said telling you that, for example, oh, well, to be honest, I like you a lot, but like, I don't follow the chicks. It's kind of similar because you're telling the truth at the very beginning. But for a guy, it's like you tell him money and height. So he can accept it or take it or leave it. He can but take it, it or he can leave it. Isn't that messed up? Isn't it messed up? It's not messed up. That's just my viewpoint. That's what I like. That's what but I like. But do you tell every guy that when you meet him? I mean, it's not, it, but it's never just that. It's never just money, height. It's when I like a man. Okay. So I like a man of God. So if I see Trace that you're a man of God, I'm a man of God. <laughs> 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 There's a lot of things to it. So that's why I said it's a very intricate question when you say, what do I like? Because I like a lot of things. But the point is... So it's complex. It is complex. Mm. It's not just... So you expect a, that man to rise up to your complex needs and wants, but then be honest with you and potentially lose you. But that's the thing. That's why it's in the process. I feel like it should just be a tra- like transparent... Because I believe in transparency. So from the bad, just tell me what it is. Yeah, it's easy for and you to say, I would expect transparency when you didn't have to work to build that attraction. What, what do you mean not work? You oh, think you think we wake women wake up that. every day and just look how we look? Like Period. women have Makeup, to put in work, lashes, working nails, out, hair. making reading, That's keeping a lot of work, up. Right? Right. First of all, it is a lot of work. Thank you very much. Okay. I don't know if that was sarcastic, look, look, look. but it is Understand a lot of work. Understand that it is a considerable amount of work for a woman to keep herself attractive and, you and you know, in shape, etc. But you got to understand that the amount of work that a woman takes to be attractive is not nearly the same amount of work required for a man to be attractive. It doesn't even come close. I mean, okay. <laughs> but you I do disagree also, with that? no, I don't. I don't disagree with it, but I do feel like men Russia are genetically. Disagrees with, I see her. I do feel like men <laughs> are genetically <laughs> wired to like want to go after things. So I think it's easier for men to work harder. Not easier, but I think men are genetically more inclined to like for work. Like they like work, not like, but you know, do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> well, <laughs> men have a natural proclivity to work harder than women. Is that what you're trying to say? No, I'm saying that men are more naturally. Yes, you're saying that. That's basically yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah, that's, yeah. What you, yeah. that's basically what I'm saying. That's, what okay, cool. that's basically what I'm saying. Children but I'm not saying that women don't work hard. I'm just saying like women are it's more natural for women to be nurtured. Yeah, it's more yeah. That's true. Okay. You're trying to say something? Well, it's a turn on for me when a guy is honest with me. If he lies to me, Pero... it's a turn off for me. <laughs> But another thing. But you have to like him first woman, for him to be honest with you, right? If you're a woman. Hold on, hold on. But you have to like him first to, to be honest with you? Yeah, I like him when he's his real self with me. You know, when I can feel that he's being real. But you have to be attracted to him for you to for you to care about him being honest, right? I think the attraction comes when I'm when I get to know the person really. You know? I, yeah, I, but you, I start yeah, to but feel love. But you have to after, like, like him first months. is my point. Because yeah. if you liked any guy that's being honest with you, like you would like the homeless guy that says, give me a dollar, nothing. I need to go get a beer. Like, his, his outside means nothing. When you get to know, like, his inside, like, his heart, that's a turn So you don't care how he looks? No, really. So you fuck anything? Not the cap. <laughs> no, but no say like... Pero... No one really is ugly, you know? It's, it's how the people it's how the people is inside make, make you feel the, no 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 it's how the person is inside that it makes makes them ugly you know what I mean you mean like how they, how are they, the how they treat other people and things like that <laughs> if they treat like a server bad that's a turn off so if the homeless man was nice to the server you'd still date the homeless man I don't want to date a homeless. <laughs> Why not? Because he's a, he's Why a not? bad person. Because he's a bad person. He's treat, he treats bad his family. That's no, why he's guess, homeless. No, if he's homeless because no. he was a veteran and boom, he's disabled, all this and that. And that's why he's homeless. But he's nice to everybody else. He's the sweetest man alive. So you're telling me I could be ugly as hell, but you're you good. You're going to smash. What? Um, so you smash the homeless man? <laughs> no, 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 no. Not like that. No. 
Uh, you were trying to say, were you saying something? Um, yeah. Something? So when sure. you were saying that men need to work um, more than women to to get a woman to like them, um, I think yes. Yeah, so that's my, like my stance forcing. is just so it's clear: men have to work significantly harder to have mating options than women do. So I think that's like forcing a connection. What's for you is for you. If a girl is for you, you're not gonna have to work like very hard to get with her. Like, just stop forcing. Connect. Also, um, if you're gonna cheat on the girl, then you don't really like her. When you find somebody who inspires you, who you who is like the perfect person for you, you're not gonna want to cheat on them. So I feel like in the first place, that that connection was forced, whether because you thought that woman was beautiful or because um, she just didn't really like you. You couldn't get you couldn't get her, so you worked very hard. So now it's a forced connection. So now you're gonna cheat on her. You're gonna treat her like shit. Uh, just stop forcing things. So you're saying guys should just be themselves? Yeah. What makes an ugly yeah, person for really. you? Like an ugly Hold person on, for you, me. You, so you guys, you think a like, guy should just be himself? A hundred percent. What makes you say that? Because um, sooner or later, I'm, I'm going to get to know you as a person. And if you're putting up a front and I don't, we like don't end up um connecting because you put up a front what what was the point of all of that okay yeah, let me ask like, you a question it's a saturday night okay let's go into a dream scenario it's a saturday night in miami drake lil wayne drake and a bunch of other top tier artists are going to be appearing at club live in miami beach right <laughs> you want to get in but what i'm telling you is you cannot wear makeup heels a nice dress. You have to go there in sweatpants, no makeup, gym gear. Do you think you would have a chance of getting inside? I actually look really good without makeup on and sweatpants. That's you are not getting inside. Don't even try to be funny. She just answer the question. I'm, I'm not being it. funny. But you would yeah. not get into it. Yeah, yeah. 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 realistically I mean, if you don't speaking, feel confident without makeup. No, no that's not saying I'm not confident. But realistically, yeah. you would not get into a club in Miami is the question. Listen, you without be outside. Don't care. You 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 don't care. It's Miami, Florida. It's a Saturday night. All the top artists are there. Do you seriously think that you're going to get inside when we have some of the most attractive women coming here that live here and visiting here from different parts of the world. Do you honestly think you're going to get in with dressed, uh, not dressed appropriately without makeup sneakers. on extensions and sneakers? Do you seriously think you're going to get in? So exactly yeah. why was I not allowed to wear makeup? Please just That's answer the, the question. Would you be allowed into the club? Yes or no? Sure. I wouldn't be allowed in the club. Why you're would you right. not be allowed in the club? Because you're because not presenting yourself in the best light, correct? Because Miami is superficial. <laughs> Fantastic. That, that's not the that point of the exercise it. here. But the point I'm trying to demonstrate is you're not going to be let into a top tier club with celebrities there when you're not looking your best and putting out a certain facade to get in. Men have to do the same thing. It's just that mm -hmm. it's socially acceptable for women to put up a facade from a look standpoint, enhance their looks, enhance their dressing, etc., to get in and put themselves in certain situations. But if a man does it, oh, what are you doing, etc.? What I've come to realize is women want to be able to having a monopoly on deception and being able to have the mystique. But if a man does the same thing, it's a problem. Because realistically speaking, if we're going to be honest here, women's entire presence and way that they deal with the opposite gender is based on deception. Makeup, heels, extensions, nails, etc. Very little about a woman is natural beauty in today's day and age, especially mm -hmm. when you're competing at the highest levels for the highest value men in venues that are higher, hyper competitive. I gave the club environment to show you an example where a woman has to compete. But in general, men have to do this all the time outside of a club. So do you real realistically think a man can just be himself and get an attractive girl? No. They have to put a facade on to a degree. And on top of that, they have to have some work beside the facade to be to stay attractive. Okay, I agree Perfect. with that. You see my perspective? Mm -hmm. So it's like everything is a facade to a degree. It's just that when a man does it, women have a point of contention with it, which I find interesting. Because everything about female nature is deceptive in practice. We don't know when you guys have periods. We don't know when you guys are in heat. Don't we don't know what you really look like beneath your makeup. We don't really know what you do look like without your waist trainer, etc. Women have way more things that they use to augment the way that they look than men do. You're telling me a guy, oh, just be yourself. I mean, realistically speaking, it doesn't work because most guys don't have the same interests that are aligned with females. Most guys want to play video games. They might like sports. They like doing things that are physical in nature. Women typically aren't interested in these things in general. Or some for sure, but in general, most aren't. So some of the worst advice we can give to a guy is be yourself. When in reality, women aren't even themselves. But that's on that's the like first. A that's a first impression type of thing. Not when mm. you're dating a person and y'all like 
that's a first impression type of thing. Because if we're dating, you saw me without makeup. You know my personality. I should know your personality. Like, if we're dating and we're already there, we should know each other. It shouldn't be a... But the original uh, sale is what he's about, saying. And I'm yeah. saying first impression. Yeah. But if we're talking about cheating, to be cheating, we have to be dating. In order to be dating, I have to know who you are. Right. But you can agree people put on a facade for years. I mean, uh, for, to, get, to, get, guys to, guys to get a man and to get a woman, it is a facade. Like, a woman can't just show you her emotions and Yeah, but you're not going to care about my personality unless I present myself in a certain place in the first place. So that's what I'm trying to say. Well, women say stuff like personality, vibes, etc. That's all a bunch of bullshit for be attractive to me in the first place where I even want to give you a chance. Then I'll go ahead and get to know your personality. But women dress up, be yourself and all this other stuff. Realistically speaking, that's not honest advice. I'm not, I think it is on I, first impression. I get what you're saying because everyone has to put a mask. No one's gonna just show who they are first impression. But I'm saying as far as like when y'all are getting to know each other, you're serious. Yeah, like yeah, you're trying to be serious. That person has to know who you are. You can't keep a facade forever, like because I'm pretty sure you're not about to date somebody and they don't know you and you don't feel comfortable with them. I happens, like, all, happens all the time. Oh, that's interesting. That's very happens to you too. It hasn't happened to me. Yeah, I haven't. No. Where's your boyfriend? I don't have one. You never had one? I've never had one. That's a red flag. It's <laughs> a red flag. Okay. I'm a, I'm a red flag. Sheesh. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I, I think uh the whole the whole concept of women saying uh, just to bring it back full circle, oh, I want honesty, I want transparency. It's not really that you want honesty or transparency. You want it for your own self-interest of being able to make the best decision for yourself. So if a guy says, Hey, I want to go around and sleep with other women, you can go ahead and make the game down the time decision. Okay. Am I willing to accept cheating from this guy? If the answer is no, you leave. Find somebody else that's more willing to be monogamous to you. If he is, then you'll be like, oh, you know what? Maybe I'll stick around. But the reality is women don't want transparent honesty because they like it. They want it so that they can make the best decision for themselves, which is cool. We're all human beings and self-interested and self-motivated for our own preservation. But the fact that women say, oh, be honest and be transparent with me for me is a lie. It's 100% for self-interest. Go ahead. But realistically, how can you build a meaningful bond with somebody if you're not vulnerable with them? Like eventually at some point. I think men should not be vulnerable with women. Ever? I think that's the difference between the two genders is being vulnerable with a woman with a woman as a man will set you up for failure. What? I think well, it will get you guys closer no. together. I think that's why suicide rates for men are high. Mm. But I mean Well, okay. Um mm. let's see here. Twitch. A vulnerable man is attractive. Uh, okay. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, yeah, we could go ahead and kill Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, because uh Come YouTube. And, and I'll let and the lady say their point. Somebody was saying something about a vulnerable man is attractive. Yes. Sorry? Okay, sure. Why do you why do you say that? Because if you're able to open up and talk about your feelings, emotions, thoughts, inspiration, aspirations to me and share them with me, then you know, I see that there is like more value in it and I would like to, you know, to invest in it too. Question, when is the right time to do that though? For a man. When it's the uh, for a man, I well, you guys, you have instincts. You can use them too. Like you can tell when a woman is like ready to hold space for you and and be able to, you know, to to be there. To Give listen. us a sign. Just tell us when we should maybe do it. When you feel I comfortable. When, no, no, let her answer it. I guess when you when you have a meaningful conversation with each other, maybe it's a time to to like open up a little bit. Is what? it when you decide mm -hmm. to be just exclusive? Is that when, like, no, or do you, does that conversation still happen? Like, do you still say, like, okay, I'm going to be exclusive with just you? And then, like, open up? Mm -hmm. um, I don't think, I don't think it has to be like that. Like, listen, you, you got to feel the, the vibe. You can't, like... See, here's the problem, right? Us as <laughs> guys, vibe. we don't know when is the right time. It could be the wrong time the whole time. I'm just saying, as a guy, why would I put myself in that situation when I don't know the outcome of it? It's like, okay. Because you guys do that all the time. What do you mean? So do you, what do you mean? You guys put yourself in situations that you don't know what the outcome of it. This is a, this is a masculine no, when it, trait. When it comes to dating, right, with you, let's say I want to be with you long term. And then I open up to you. You say, oh, that's kind of cringe. It's kind of weird. But I don't know when it's the right time. Why even risk it? Well, you'll never know if you never risk it. And guess what happens to it? If I never do it, I'm still good. I'm well, very... Uh, yes, you're still good, but then you'll never have the opportunity of experiencing true love and, and deep bond and, and something that is meaningful. You have to take the chance of getting hurt and open up. Getting hurt? So getting yes. hurt, getting hurt it, and true lover. That's what... The, 
are synonymous. No, but that's what he showed. Like he presented to as like, oh, if I'm not gonna open up, then I'll protect myself. Then I'm not gonna like. It's it's just you know I'm I'm not gonna be giving up too much of myself and I'm not going to be sharing. So it means that like I can walk away and, and, you know, and so you're, you're saying basically in a nutshell, being vulnerable opens you up to, you know, emotions and a deeper connection with an individual. Yeah. Yeah. Getting to know them better. Would it be fair to say that that's how women build an emotional connection versus men? It might be a little bit different. Ooh. We might not necessarily yes. need the same level of emotional connection through vulnerability that women do. 100%. Absolutely. We're built. Oh, I'll stop right there. We're built different. You said that from the female perspective. But yeah. I told you from the male perspective, it doesn't operate that way. Because you're speaking from a limited perspective as a woman, mm -hmm. not from a man. You're saying what you would like to be able to do, etc. And you're hoping that it's a mirror image on the male side. Scientifically, we're different. Okay. So it doesn't matter the perspective. It's just proven. Like No, it absolutely matters the perspective yeah. because you're giving a female perspective on how vulnerability enhances emotions and a deeper connection. But what I'm saying... For a man, it might not necessarily be that way. So you for a woman, me, it is, but not for a man. So you're telling me a, a man doesn't want to be heard? A man doesn't want to be feel like someone cares about him? A man doesn't want to put his head on someone's shoulder when he's going through hard times? I think, um, I think what you're saying is being able to put a head on a shoulder and be vulnerable, etc. Though a woman is capable of providing that comfort, I think a safer way to go about getting that comfort and being vulnerable is through another man who experiences the same issues and problems and dilemmas that you do from the male experience. Because you just admitted by yourself that men and women are different and we experience different problems based on our gender. So wouldn't it be kind of foolish for me to go ahead and provide my masculine problems to an individual who's not qualified to handle my masculine problems? And as a matter of fact, that individual is relying on me to be a leader, to be dominant, to take her through life. And then I'm going ahead and showing vulnerability and I'm not really sure where we stand right now. I would argue it's better for the guy to go to a man that understands his perspective versus a woman who doesn't understand that perspective. What you just described of being vulnerable and being able to connect on a deep and emotional level, that's a female way of falling in love. Men typically don't fall in love like that. Men love women for acts of service. Men love women that are submissive, that are that fall in line, that don't give them a headache, that give them peace. I think women want to be able to open up to their man and get that stability. But for men to open up to a woman, she's not necessarily capable of the same stability because men and women aren't the same and women aren't leaders. So I would say it's probably going to lead to self-destruction opening up to your woman because women aren't built to lead men and be stoic and emotional rocks in times of hard uh, turmoil. Facts. Right, but you opening up to a woman doesn't mean that like you give up, you know, your leadership. It yeah, but what you're doing is you're forfeiting it for a, a period of time. And every woman has different levels of acceptance of you terminating that leadership. So, for example, some women might be able to tolerate you being a pussy and saying, I don't know where we stand right now. Oh, my God. But other women might be cutthroat and be like, what the fuck? You're soft. No, I'm good. And they'll get turned off by that. So why take the risk? Because you should know who you're with. It's, should it be a risk if you know who you're with? Like, so it's a risk. Huh? Okay. But the thing is, is that you don't, you won't know unless you open up. For example, right? They've done, they've done um, studies on this and they've seen like women react to this. Women that are typically in relationships with guys that are fighters, right? They like the guy. They're attracted to him because he's a fighter, et cetera. But if they go to one of his fights and they watch him get beat up, a lot of women have lost attraction to their man by watching him get beat up. It's a visceral, carnal thing to watch your man get beat up because what he's effectively establishing right in front of you, even though he's fighting another professional fighter, is he might not be capable of protecting you. And that go ahead and trigger certain things in your mind, in your in your monkey brain. Whoa, this guy is not a protector. A protector. Can you still provide for me? Blah, blah, blah. And women lose attraction for men. So what I'm saying is that just in a way that women can lose attraction within an instant of watching their man get beat up, they can also lose attraction within an instant of him crying and trying to, you know, get consolation from her. You won't know until it happens is my argument. Does that make sense? No, it makes sense. Yes, sir. Um, I don't think we should look at that as a weakness when a man opens up. Um, okay. you, as a man, you should only open up to somebody you feel comfortable with. Mm -hmm. So if you don't know where you stand with your woman, obviously you should not be opening up to her. Let's rewind real quick. What did you say a second ago? You said... Women should, right? Not look at it that way. We should. I said we, women, women, is... women, and men. I feel like men see opening up and um, being vulnerable as a weakness, but I see it as a sign of strength because I know that for men it's hard to open up. But you used a key word One. earlier. You said should. Should what? 
and and that's you said we shouldn't look at like look at it like that. And I and I agree. I wish it wasn't like that. But you know, I tend to operate in reality, and should isn't necessarily a word in reality. Women typically tend to look down on men that look to them for some type of, that are vulnerable with them on a consistent basis. I don't know women who who look down on that. I I feel like um, in my in my circles, um, the like women see that as a sign of strength because that means you're you're emotionally um, intelligent. I'm curious. Yeah, but, thing, wait, hold on, hold on. Hold on. but women want vulnerable. See, this is the problem that, that that I've come to realize with women talking about this. Y'all want vulnerability on your terms, and what I'm trying to argue is that vulnerability doesn't come on terms. It's not like it's an agreement. Okay, you can be vulnerable Monday, Tuesdays, and Thursdays, okay? Uh, for five minutes at a time, etc. You guys are saying it if it comes in certain terms. The problem with vulnerability and emotional volatility and hard times, etc., is it comes in spurts and it could be, you know, nice and sunny one second and then raining, pouring another second. And there's no necessarily terms. When it comes, it's raw. You don't know how you're going to react to it. It might lead to, you know, a visceral, carnal emotion that you might not. Oh, my God, I'm watching my guy give you that. What the hell's going on here? And then you lose traction for him. Yeah. Right. So it's very yeah, different. Yeah. So you guys are saying, oh, it shouldn't be that way. And this is this doesn't make sense. You should be able to open up to your girl and be vulnerable. The problem is that when it does come, it's not going to come the way that you expect it. Like, baby, I had a tough time at work. But you know what? I fixed the problem. No, he might come home sobbing like a little bitch. He might be like coming back with a black eye. You don't know what the hell happened. It's going to come and rear its ugly head when you're least expecting it. And it could come in a dark time. Maybe I didn't make the bills for a month or two. And you guys are in a bad spot. Then he comes home crying, etc. It's never going to come in an optimal situation that women typically think. It's going to come in a terrible time where isn't optimal for either one of you. Do you really want to sit there and have to console a man that's responsible for protecting and providing and yes. leading you? That's a That sounds like a bitch? No. See, you could say, yes, I'd be able to it. Do doesn't it doesn't sound like a bitch to me. Okay, fantastic. I never. You might think that. But a majority of women will have a point of contention with that. But I, I'm that's actually, my argument. Yeah, I'm actually curious. Has a guy ever been vulnerable with you? Yes, I've I've um, had men cry in front of me before. And where, that where and are they now? Living their best life. But you're not there. But that didn't make me respect them less. Stop the cap. Fact, so it made you respect them more. Yes. Really? Stop the cap. I, I promise. Then why aren't you with them? For other reasons, yeah. not having anything to do with that. Who broke up with who? Um, <laughs> I mean, I always ended all of my relationships. Wow. Gotcha, bitch. But um, I'll tell you right now, I got cheated on. So it wasn't me who lost respect for this person and and went and found a new man who is more masculine, doesn't cry. But One that's time, what happened. I was having this experience with this guy. He, he works in a studio and he was like, I'm celibate. I don't have sex. I just want to have sex with you. And I'm like, I don't like that. I think that's weird. Uh, wait, wait. But that's not all. And he was like, oh, no. Uh, I just got a f into a fight in the studio and I was fighting, you know. And for me, that was a turn off that the guy was fighting. Hmm. I didn't like him after that because I think that if he holds himself and he's like, he don't fight. I think fighting is bad you know that's why i like the video that myron posted like he didn't even touch the girl and that was good oh on instagram, oh, on instagram. Yeah. yeah yeah um okay. going back to, to you um would it be fair to say that um him being vulnerable might have been a symptom of a greater issue for you because you said you broke up with him and that wasn't necessarily the main reason but you said the, or well, that wasn't the main reason you broke up with him. It was because of other things. But wouldn't it be fair to say that that might have been a symptom of a greater issue as to why you broke up with him in general? Because typically when men are vulnerable, right, and soft with women, they have a bunch of other issues with their masculinity that also tie into their vulnerability. So um, I've had about three boyfriends and they all cried in front of me. Uh -huh. So it's not a specific situation that uh -huh. I'm talking about. We broke up for different reasons. What, what was the reason? They all cried in front of you? We were close. Like when you're close with somebody, it's okay. Wait, 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 wait. wait. It's okay. What like when, when people go through things, it's okay to cry. What, what did they cry about? Does it matter right now? It does matter. I mean, tra um, like childhood trauma, um, family situations like dark family situations okay mm -hmm. what what did you what made you break up with them like i said it was i was multiple situations like we we broke up for different reasons um okay. like i said i got cheated on like okay one one cheated on, on and then what was the other two that were the deal breaker um okay uh, uh we had like a violent situation 
Um, it was, he hit you? No, I hit him. Oh. Well, we hit each other. Because it was a bitch. If you didn't cry, he had trouble. Yeah, he had trouble. Yeah, we go. Bitch. His dog hit me, hit him, so that's why he hit me. What the fuck? His what? Hmm? It's okay. just an example. Like his his dog hit him. His dog? So, yeah, he has a trauma. Like he's gonna hit you. Have you ever because s- he got hit or something? He ha- he don't Shut have to up, hit bitch. you. All right. Well, uh, so <laughs> like, no, no, she hit. Okay, him yeah, you hit him. Exactly. And then, and then he so hit, did he hit you back too or no? No, no, no. Okay, you hit him. Okay. Why do you and then have what to is, hit what him? Is, what is the third uh, reason? Reason. So one guy cheated on you. One guy. You're beating him up, and then the third guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, the third guy. Well, she's Russian, so I mean. Yeah. I honestly don't remember. Yeah. It was something petty, also. I don't, I don't remember. I just find just it didn't, just didn't work out. Like that things they don't... all cried in front of you, and then eventually you broke up with them for another reason or whatever. It doesn't really matter. But you all broke up with all three of them, and you hit them. God damn, and you hit him too. <laughs> he left listen, show... th- things happen. I was like, I was nineteen, but. <laughs> Can I ask Doesn't you a question? Doesn't that show a pattern of like <laughs> bad, <laughs> like? Yeah, that didn't help her case. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> wow, bro. Did yeah. your dad? Did your dad ever cry in front of you? Um, did you so ever see your dad? Cry? I actually don't have a relationship with my father. I okay. mean, I've seen my dad cry, but like my grandma. Passed Emotional away, so like, right, death. Right, right, right. Like, death is different. Like my man, he's cried. Like his best friend passed away. Like the day mm-hmm. of his like game. Like so that's different. Like I feel like a death like is understandable but like my man also told me if he's ever going through shit he would never let me know because it's his job as a man to just get through the shit so it's like yeah. but don't you want to be that person nope. I'm, for, for you for your man no like, i am that person the, for him if he wants to come and talk to me he can but if not and i'm like that person who hits him i don't hit him i would okay. never hit him. i think this is another perfect example of like wanting to be transparent when it comes to cheating and having other women women want you to be transparent with your emotions once again for self-interest to be able to establish if you're really that guy if you're a tough guy you can lead me etc and if you are sitting there crying in the back of her mind she's like all right i got you right now but man if we ever get in a fight or if i ever want to break up with you man you are a bitch i could leave you yeah you, you definitely felt like memory. you definitely felt like he was a bitch for you to hit him because if you didn't feel like that about him yeah. you would never lead a hand on him i that's promise you yeah. every guy i've ever been with there's only one guy i was ever with and i did put my hands on him and guess, no, I was I was seventeen, but guess what? I did think he was a bitch. Well, I, I actually know her personally, and she's actually like, I don't think you have to be a bitch. If she her anger is good, <laughs> no cap. You're if her right. anger does get her, like if her emotions get the better of her, she will put her hands on you. That's a problem. But, but, yeah, is, that's a problem with me. It's not, not a problem no, with the person. I'm saying, but if like, it was a guy that you were that you knew for a fact would deck the shit out of you, you would not put your hands on you. You wouldn't do it. You would not do it. If he was 6'6", six, six, so 250, I'm you're going to I don't do things like that anymore. But I'm saying, if he was 6'6", six, six, 250, you would never do it in the first place. Maybe, maybe you're right. It was a man. Well, she's Russian, so I mean... But I take responsibility for that, so I'm not... <laughs> I'm not I don't, I don't want to call this person a bitch, and that's why I hit him. But I think the problem was with me. Because I didn't know how to express my feelings and um i think that's even more reason to not open up to you and be vulnerable <laughs> they might get punched. <laughs> <laughs> we can conclude you know what i mean like yeah. uh, like women that and here's the thing too you made an argument earlier i wrote this down that women can be both masculine and feminine mm-hmm. when women are you know selectively choosing when they want to be found in the masculine etc that means as a man you have to be hyper masculine and being vulnerable is probably one of the softest and pussiest things you can do it's a feminine characteristic to open up to females in my eyes so i don't i don't think especially with a female like you that kind of picks and chooses when they want to be a lady or a a masculine i would say it's even more dangerous for them to be vulnerable with a female like you i disagree why do you disagree um would your prior relationships not kind of prove my point because actions speak louder than words that you punish every guy that's been vulnerable with you so I've breakup? learned a lot from my previous relationships. Okay. I'm not proud of the mistakes that I made in those relationships. So mm-hmm. I wouldn't judge like what happened in those relationships and like make conclusions about what I think of things right now. That I mean, makes, you're saying it's okay for sense. men to be vulnerable with you, but the record shows that every man that's been vulnerable with you has suffered a consequence of losing you. Oh, black eye. Not because <laughs> they were vulnerable with me. Because, but that's what I said before. I think that was a symptom of a greater issue. Probably. All right. Uh, Just some, uh, just to point out stuff. Did anybody else have anything that they wanted to say in this discussion? Kind of went into a whole other thing there. Tangent, yeah. (laughs) Um, uh, Guys, we got about twenty thousand y'all watch right now between Rumble and YouTube. So, real quick, do me a favor. 
Um, like the video if you haven't already on YouTube. And then um, also uh, open up a tab and watch us on YouTube as well. And I'm going to go ahead and go 50 and up from uh, from here forward. because And I want to get into my questions here. Um, Chris, do we have more? Yeah, form four. Okay. Um, let me ask this question first, and then we'll go go to the chats. All right. Um, to speaking on the topic that we talked about. Would you ladies agree that modern day men are soft and not leaders or masculine as they used to be? We can start here and then work our way. As a majority, I would yeah. say yes. As a majority? As okay. a majority, yes. So you would agree? Yes. Okay. You've been here longer than most people. Thanks. Have you seen men change over a period of time from what it used to be to now? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Give us an example if you don't mind. Um, okay, so just even our male um, uh, role models mm -hmm. that are out there right now, right? Like it used to be sports figures, and it used to be like Arnold Schwarzenegger, Arnold Schwarzenegger, exactly. Sylvester Stallone, and now Jack it's um, multiple the king. Now it's <laughs> well, it we used to be yes, but um, now it's um, New Age Spider Man. Yeah, uh, what else? Weak, weaker. Um, just in general, as as a physical being, smaller men. Um, just as overall presence, they're just they have more feminine characteristics. They move. They speak softer. There's just not that masculinity that there used to be in the sure. so I would even say in the nineties or two thousands. So you've seen a general feminization of uh, men. Of men, in, yes, in, and in I've modern seen, culture and in real life, a hundred percent. And I've also seen the opposite true in masculinity in in feminism. Okay, so that feminization that's occurred in men, you've seen it on the opposite spectrum. On the opposite side, of where women being more masculine. One hundred percent, yes. Interesting. Okay. I mean, shit. Look at Dwayne Wade. <laughs> yeah, good <laughs> example. Just, just. Saying. What about you? Uh, do you think uh, that men are soft and no longer masculine and or leaders? I think, like she in said, general, for the majority, yes, for sure. Okay. And I definitely mean? agree with the whole, like, a lot of women are a lot more masculine now, uh -huh. but yet, like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Would you would you say a contributing factor to women being more masculine is the feminization of men? Yeah. Okay. Weaker men create stronger women? Okay. Yeah. Somebody has to step up. Okay. What about you? What do you think? I don't think men are less masculine. I think men no, are so. less gentlemen. And I think for me, it's it's a big part of uh, being masculine. But a lot of people don't see that as being masculine. I feel like the kind of just contradicted yourself. So so hold on. <laughs> I feel like I'm sorry. One more thing. I so feel you, like so the, you said so. Uh, one end, you said that men are not less masculine, but they're less gentlemen. Then you went and followed that up by saying uh, they're not chivalrous. But you're saying chivalry is a part of masculinity. So, so which to, one is it? So to cl clarify, I think the masculine traits that you're talking about are like toxic masculine oh, toxic. masculinity. But I feel Can like you describe we're it specifically so I understand. Yeah, what does that mean? Like aggression. Um that's that's a toxic masculine trait. I feel like um there's not enough of the gentleman masculine traits. Like I feel like men don't do those things anymore. But mm -hmm. They definitely still do the toxic masculine traits, like try to get a lot of women and, you know, just being aggressive. And... So you thought he meant he was talking about aggression? Well, well, I'm asking, do you think men are less masculine now than before? So you're, you're saying that they are less masculine than before? Or I'm trying to. Um, let's go with they are less masculine. And it's because you, you uh, and, it, and you're saying it's because. They're more um, aggressive and uh, what was the other term? They're just not gentlemen anymore. No more chivalry. I, I don't think we're, we're talking about that part. But you know what's crazy? Back <laughs> in the day, were, were women more masculine or feminine back in the day? Um, feminine. So nowadays, what are women mainly? Masculine, right? So do they deserve chivalry at this point? Of course. Really? I feel like when um, a man provides a safe space for a woman to be feminine, a woman is more feminine. So by default, you're masculine. So that means he should not front be chivalrous if you're masculine. No. He should always come off as like feminine at first. I feel like not I, straight masculine energy when you first meet somebody. Because if I meet you as a guy and you're masculine as fuck, I'm not going to treat you like you deserve feminine energy, like you deserve chivalry. I'm going to treat you like the masculine guy that you want to be you answered it yourself earlier i feel like the definitions of masculine and feminine have changed um, really 
I feel like certain things w- that were considered strictly masculine are also feminine right now. Like? Um, like women being independent and strong and taking care of themselves and having a voice, um, doing sports, things you like that. You think being strong and independent is masculine? You think that? How do you know he thinks that? <laughs> yeah. You didn't say that. <laughs> I'm asking you. So you, you think it's, it's more, it's more masculine? I don't think being so. Being strong and independent? I don't think so. Just like, just, just as I don't think that being vulnerable is strictly feminine. I don't think that's a feminine quality. I feel like we decide for themselves what we think is feminine and, and masculine. So you write your own meanings for words now? Sure. <laughs> I don't need, I just don't think Bro, it's like you black. Don't reality. I don't think it's black and white. Like masculinity and femininity are not black and white. And they're in a dictionary for a reason, right? So mm-hmm. obviously there's a meaning behind each word, but you're changing that definition of yourself. Not myself. Who? The way things have been going and things have been progressing those definitions have changed. So if I jump off a then cliff, you to, then you to update the cliff? vocabulary. The, the point is that like just because the world's changing in that direction doesn't mean it's true. All if, right. It is true. They need to change the vocabulary. No, no. But again, think for yourself. Does that make sense? Does what make sense? If the world's saying the sky's green, but you know it's blue. Is it changing into blue green? <laughs> <laughs> you lost, man. You lost. I don't even know what School she's saying. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, I mean, just in general. So, uh, so you're saying that men are less masculine man. now I, you, I just... than, than before. Than before, and you're saying that as a byproduct, they're less chivalrous. Yeah, they're less masculine. And you're saying they're less chivalrous, which I guess kind of go hand in hand. But is that what you're saying? That's not exactly what I'm saying. Then, then clarify for me, then, because you kind of gave. Well, I just feel like I just feel like, to summarize. I just feel like the definitions have changed of masculine and feminine. So I can't say that men are less masculine and women are um, more masculine. Like, I can, but can in the, just, in the dictionary, def- what can masculine... you define masculinity and femininity? Because I think you that really, you really I, can. I That's really... the point. Like, it's fluid. <laughs> no, no, it's not. Like, it's in the dictionary. What does it say? In the dictionary? You can like, define politically what correct. What is water? <laughs> what is a woman? So it was like it, it's not an abstract <laughs> word. Yes, it's, but it's, in the dictionary, it's a word. But so it like, is. what does it if say in the dictionary? Less I don't know. He's you want to pull out gay. a dictionary? I don't have a dictionary. Okay, I see it like. Yeah, well, then maybe you should get the dictionary uh, read it because it's not. Right, we'll come back to it when you can have something kind of put together and answer. What about you? Would you agree that men are soft and not as masculine as they used to be? Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, why so? Um, I just think that with like. I'm trying to think of the. I don't want to say I, it was a war that created like of whatever. I just think that it world events there. happened and uh-huh. that which created women to be more masculine and then which made men more feminine because women had to take on roles. Would you that, say feminism was that wrong um, thing? I think that it was more so women having to work because men had to go out in the war. And I do feel like feminine does play a part, but I feel like feminism. Fem- the feminist you think women had, had to work or they wanted to? They had to. Um, and this, I need a, women, it, it's a, I got to think of the, I'm not thinking, I have to say the words so I can bring up facts and we're not just talking based off opinion, but there was a war. Um, I don't want to say the, I want to say World War, war I was going to say, I literally, okay, yeah, World War II. <laughs> so they, they didn't have to go to work. I'm okay. asking, I'm asking. Well, no, I think women want, like. No, they had to, because the man had to go to war. war. Women so wanted women to had, work. We were fighting for our rights to work. We're no, that's, feminism not. was after that. So, yeah, I'm talking the 60s. About, okay. so I'm talking about the war. Yeah. So you're talking, you're saying that During men the war, becoming more feminine started back in World War II? I'm saying that it started, yeah, it started from there. I feel like when women had to go into the workplace and had to get jobs, mm-hmm. that's what kind of, you know, mm-hmm. and then that's what like sparked the feminism movement, I believe. I'm a PhD. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, Not so yet, I'll just say you that know. you think that they're less masculine because women stepped up and worked more. I think they're less masculine. Or yeah, I mean, I don't agree with that. So yeah. you think that it's because you? Said- I mean, like I like I remember when I was like seventeen, I wanted to work. I got two jobs because I wanted to work. That doesn't mean like that makes men. No, but I'm not talking about you choosing to want to work because I. I'm a very feminine woman, but I always have had a job. I'm saying back in that time, in the 60s, women had, I feel like that's where it started. So because you have. Because women had to go to work. Because they had to help. 
because, their man that made their man less masculine. No, that didn't make their man less masculine. But since women had to take on the roles, because at that time women weren't working, so it was men going to provide for the family, and that was just a thing, and that was just the family construct. But men were at but, war while the and women the men were had working. to go to war. Yeah, and then the women started working. Yeah, because they someone had. Exactly. I feel like you gotta, that doesn't make you less masculine. And then masculine. that's what sparked the feminist movement, and that's what made like. I mean, World War Two was the forties. Oh, it wasn't the sixties. Oh my bad. It was no. the forties. <laughs> <What's stupid? laughs> no, my bad. That's my bad. Yo, um, yeah, my yo, education doesn't make you smart. No, actually, education doesn't make you smart. But I didn't learn. I learned that way back. I, that's not that. That's that's yeah. a, no, not at the time, but that was something I did on my own, like reading, just because I wanted to learn it, not because I, the school system taught me. Hold on, you read? Wrong book. Uh, do I read? Yeah, I do read, actually. Cat in the Hat? Cat, I do actually like <laughs> Cat in the Hat. Dr. Seuss? Dr. Don't mind Seuss, him. all that. All right, so I guess in general, I mean, so that we don't get not But yeah, it might, but even then, too, think, I said, like, because. Mm-hmm. I don't like to speak on things that are not necessarily facts. So I did say I didn't know what the war was called. And my timing is off, yes, but I do believe that's For two where, decades. Oh, sorry. <laughs> but it was off, and I'll admit that. But I do believe that sparked one part of it, and then another part was sparked, like, with the feminist movement. Okay. Uh, what about you? Do you think women, uh, men are less masculine than they used to be? In general, yes. Okay. I do. And... Would you say this is both in the United States and in Israel, or just the United States problem? Oh, that's a hard question. I don't know because I haven't been living in Israel for nine years, so it's hard okay. to say. When you were there, were the men were the men less uh, less masculine? No, no. Okay, but you don't know what it would be like going back now, because I mean, obviously, a lot can change in almost a decade, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. but all right. So in general, yes. Okay, what about you? Do you think men are less masculine nowadays? Men yeah. are more pussies these days and they used to be more masculine masculine before and before okay. yeah. and then coming back to you do you uh, do you have your fine like a uh, a tied up version of what you think as far as um men being more masculine or less masculine today versus in the past yes men are less masculine in general you would say in general okay so and that applies to them being less chivalrous being less masculine being less, less taking care dominant. of women less okay all right yeah. um ha- um having less integrity okay um, would you say, since most of you think, well, all of you believe that men are less masculine nowadays, would you agree that women run most relationships in modern day? Yes or no? Since yeah. as a byproduct. Okay. What about you? Which relationships? Uh, relationships with men, romantic relationships. Since men are weaker nowadays, would you agree that women most run most relationships? No. You don't think so? No. Why do you say that? Because men can be manipulative too and make us think like we run it, but they actually do. Um, okay. So you think you think even though men are weaker that women still run relationships? E- well, <laughs> it yeah, I, um, it can be both. It can be both. Have so you ever heard the phrase so... happy wife, happy life? Yes. Wouldn't it be fair to say that that saying is famous because female happiness is prioritized over male happiness and women uh, uh, in a relationship no i don't think it's well listen i have to say something okay a lot of things <laughs> okay. a lot of, sorry <laughs> a lot of things in english sound not straight as they supposed to be okay when i think in hebrew in my head right mm-hmm. when you say those things mm-hmm. it does not come over men happiness or, you know, the household. It's just that English is a little twisted. And we we take things as we want to take them. And we can twist them around. So you're saying, okay, happy wife, happy life. Then it's over the, the happiness of the men in the relationship. I don't agree because... Okay, so you think men run most relationships in modern day today? I women? think it's equal. I think it's equal. I think a healthy relationship is running with both men and women. I understand that. You, that's what you think is, is healthy. But what I'm asking is, do you think in general, with the way things are, with men being more masculine, who do you think runs a majority of relationships between men and women? Is it the woman running the relationship or is it the man running the relationship? Generally. I can't tell you. I, I, 
I really can't. <laughs> no, seriously. You want an honest question or you want me just to answer? Okay, let's honest You want answer. an honest answer or yes. you want me just uh, to answer? Let's, 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 let's an go honest ahead and answer, speak. So give me a minute to think and I'll get back to you with an honest answer. Okay, so here's some things okay. for you to think about as you formulate your answer. Think of maybe girls that you know that are in relationships that are your friends. Are their boyfriends running the relationship or are they telling their man what to do? Maybe think of some family members um, in the United States, not in Israel. Um, are the is, is the man telling her his girl what to do or is it the other way around? Like think of and then think in general. Okay, um, when I look at television, when I look at pop culture, is the woman telling the man what to do or is it the other way around? And I'm talking about specifically in modern day society. All right, I'll come back to you. Okay. What about you? Would you say that women are running relationships since men are less masculine than before? That's you think men, you think men still run it in general? Okay. I would just tell her 11, as well. 11. Think about who runs Hollywood. Okay. Okay. Let's move okay. On. Um, what about you? Do you think uh, since men are weaker nowadays that women run relationships or men still run relationships? I think men still run their relationships. You think so? Okay. <laughs> Looks like you ran them. All right. What about you? <laughs> um, I do think. Can you come back to me after her? I'm sorry. No. It's tough, huh? It, 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 I feel like it right. for me it is. What about you? I think uh, women definitely run the day-to-day -day of modern relationships. Mm -hmm. I think the overall, like, major decisions are still a majority masculine. But I think the day-to-day, -day, like, inner workings of a relationship, I think are definitely predominantly female. Okay. I guess I could simplify, ladies. Who do you think holds the leverage in most relationships nowadays? The Females. man or the woman? The women? Females. Okay. Yep. What about 100%. you? Leverage the guy. You think the guy? Hmm. 100%. I mean, if he's a if he's a leader, if he's a leader, if he's a leader then uh, yes. But but are most men leaders? No. Yeah. Okay, so I guess you're saying <laughs> okay. You see, I need to be broken down a little uh, bit. Right, I'm honest about that. So then, women, yes. All right. What about you? Uh, you you still think men, right? Run it. Okay. What about you now? Women. You think women run it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So it looks like it's uh. Half and half. Three of you think no. Four of you think women run relationships, and then two of you think that men run the relationships in day and age. Okay. So now that we know that most men are not masculine, and we know that women are running a majority of relationships, at least according to most of you guys, right? Um, if you had a son, what boundaries would you tell him? Would you tell him to put in place with his girlfriend to keep himself from being cheated on? So let me go ahead and turn back one more time for y'all, right? It's a deep question, I know. It's a deep question. We know that men are weaker than ever before, right? They're less masculine. Most guys don't have dominant leadership frame. We established that. They're weaker than before. And we know, according to most of you, that women run a majority of relationships and have leverage in most of these relationships. Knowing this, if you had a son, what boundaries would you tell him to have in place or rules with a woman that he's seeing or dating or courting that he needs to have in place to ensure he isn't cheated on, hurt, financially ripped off, etc. What would you tell your son to put in place? An example can be, give me one out for free. Hey, you should tell your significant other that she shouldn't be going on girl trips. Right? Misogyny. So what things would you tell, would you put your, tell your son to put in place to keep himself from her, uh, getting hurt in a relationship or getting financially destroyed, whatever it may be. Can I clarify real yeah, quick? Go ahead. Um, is there an age of this child? Uh, are we talking like teenager or are we talking uh, like grown no, man? Okay, good, good, good question. Let's say he's uh, 32 years old, has his shit together. Okay. Higher earner, <laughs> successful. Got it. Whether entrepreneur or um, a W 2 worker, doesn't matter, but he's a professional and does well for himself. So he has a lot to lose. What boundaries would you tell him he needs to put in place with a significant other? We could start. You want to start? All right, go. go ahead. Give us two or three things you would tell him to do. So if you give her everything she wants, she will disrespect you because she will get comfortable. So I feel like if she gets comfortable, she will go out to do whatever she wants outside. Um, okay, yeah. so don't give her everything. Yeah. Okay, so that's a boundary, I guess, is that not give her everything she, she asks for. She will respect you more. Okay, if and then what's the uh, say no? If you uh, say no, say no to some things. Okay, anything else? No, that's For it. Now, no. Okay, <laughs> what about you? What boundaries would you tell your son to put in place? I'm thinking, can we get back to me? You, you think, think a lot. lot, I do. Yeah, I do. That's, that's good. That's good. <laughs> what about you? Um, 
Don't be rammed by vagina. Don't what? <laughs> don't be rammed by pussy. Oh, okay. don't be. Okay. Like, how, how would he enact on that, though? It's very like, easy to say one. don't be run by a pussy, but like, have which... okay. So I guess the first one would be like watch your character, and then have discipline would be the second one. Um, be specific, actual, for... actionable. They're telling be disciplined. I mean, I'm not. I'm, be disciplined. Don't like because I know. What like, rule should he impart on his significant other to av- to avoid issues? How about that? What rule should he impart? Yeah, as a man, a leader in the relationship, what should it be the standards for him or her? Yeah, watch your character. That's like, that's not standard. That is a but standard. Like character yoga, is different for everybody. That's a, though. Character, that's a statement. That is a statement. But okay, you're right. Okay. Is character morals? Is character morals. per like personality? What character. I mean, just make sure that her character's in line with the, her character aligns with yours. But in the essence of just like make sure she's not like a gold digger. Like, because I'm not gonna say. What do you think? Should I come back to you too? This is a deep <laughs> question. I, I'll give you guys that. Yeah, you should right. come back to this, me. This, this might be over the panels. Yeah, okay. What about <laughs> what about you? What what rules and boundaries should your son put in place to avoid heartbreak and turmoil? What would you tell him? Um, so all I got right now is um take your time with this person. Like don't rush into anything. Like there's no need to Okay, how much time specifically? Date her for how long? Um, like at least you should wait at least like two years, two years. before okay. like moving in things like that like don't make any rush decisions like don't should he move her in or should she move in with him they should decide that together whatever they're comfortable this is your son you give him the leverage give him the actual advice they should get a separate apartment okay so don't live with her at all no live with her but like don't live in her place or and not don't move her into your place just get a a fresh start yeah don't cohabitate do no, cohabitate, no, she but get a separate apartment. Fresh, that, no, 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 like no, no, together, a brand new apartment yeah, together. Yeah, yeah both give up like, your apartments and start cheat fresh. On you with if she she lives somewhere no, else. Okay, she's gonna she doesn't live anywhere. anywhere else. Else. You're no, misunderstanding. You're like, misunderstanding what I'm saying. She doesn't live anywhere. Hey, hey, hey! Everybody, shut up and let her answer. Go ahead. Please clarify because it didn't make sense. Um, the woman gives up her apartment. The guy gives up his apartment, and then you get a a new place together. Okay, so move together after two years is what you're saying. At least, I want to say at least, like Bruh. don't, don't right. move in together. Well, well, uh, what quick. else would you? What else would you tell your son? Um, don't rule? don't give her your credit card information if she wants you to buy something. She has to ask for, it. or okay. or or you have to do it for her. I don't okay. want to use his credit card. I want cash. <laughs> okay. you're, a so, smart, you're a smart one. Um, so don't. Okay. So don't. Um, Basically, don't and, rush. Yeah, That's get, really get, all I got. She mm-hmm. for any don't purchase rush. that is made, get permission. What about if it's her money, or does this uh, this account for both their money or just his? It's so, everyone's money is their money until okay. until you're married. So keep it separate. Yeah. Okay. Uh, separate accounts, and then don't give her your credit card, um, and get permission if you're going to spend money on anything. Use a condom. And use a condom. Okay. That would be your boundaries. Okay. What about you? For my son. Um, kind of going back to what she said, definitely don't let pussy run everything. Pay yeah, but how? Give us actual exi- tangible examples. Um if you do like an act if you do anything for her, like pay attention to how she reciprocates the energy, if she shows any form of appreciation, um, any acts of service. I feel like acts of service is a woman's biggest form of actually showing other care for someone. Um, what acts of service should she be giving him or should he demand? I mean, the basics would be like cooking, cleaning, um, head, not, yeah, head, not stressing him out, not, um, not provoking arguments of what if she's no longer giving him sex? What would you tell your son to do? I mean, leave her, leave her. Yeah. Okay. I mean, if she's not like. Yeah, if you're not happy and she's not, you guys aren't having sex, I mean, yeah, just leave. Or talk to her about it first. And if she's still not trying to have sex, then something's curly up. Cause... Okay. Uh, but they're dating, right? Like, that was a, they're dating. Yeah. yeah. But, okay. I mean, but this is like boundaries and parameters that he needs to have set in place for it to be serious. So, acts of service, cooking, cleaning, sex, anything else? Uh, okay. And then, what about you? What boundaries do you, would you tell your son he needs to have in place? Okay, I actually sure. have... One of these. <laughs> so oh, okay. this actually is a little easier for, I think, for my, yes. Okay. So from my perspective, I think it's a little easier. Um, he's not obviously that age, but that's kind of why I wanted to clarify. So um, for me, it would be definitely um, take your time. 
Um, there's no specific time. I just think that like you give you, us a minimum though. Um, I'd How say, long do you think it should take to vet a woman? Minimum of a year before you move in together. But I'm also a huge advocate of living together prior to marriage. Um, if you're going to lead towards marriage, then you need to live together because I have witnessed personally relationships that had gone on for years and then they cohabitated and it just like they couldn't live together. Uh, you know, cheating started or cheating was uncovered at that point. So okay. I um, continue. Was okay. that okay? No, no, no. What else? Um, and then I would say uh, maintain separate bank accounts. Uh, okay. Make sure that you're both, um, you know, you're both have responsibilities. Um, continue uh, or to make sure that you have open communication. They both feel heard. So I'm a huge advocate of starting therapy, like almost almost right away, or having some sort of um, communication like exercise so that you can learn to really speak to each other and have uh, mutual communication. Because I think a lot of the uh, breakdowns of relationships are one person not feeling heard. Would you advise that? Remember, this is your, the advice you're dispensing to your son. Yep. Would you advise that he have open communication and communicate with her when that put, gives the female the advantage? Um. Because we already talked about how transparency and openness a lot of the times Correct. Put the woman in the in the driver's seat and have put her in a position of power. Um. Remember, this is for your son. Yeah. No, <laughs> I would say, <laughs> I would say that um, yes, still be transparent, but also understand that you do risk um, her walking if you are transparent. But I think it'd be, I think he'll sleep better knowing that he was upfront and honest from the very, very beginning than having to, um, you know, worry about being together for 15 years and wondering if he had lied the whole time, if they were really true together. So transparency with an awareness of a loss potentially incoming. Correct. Yes. Okay. Anything else? Nope. I mean, I, I All right. would... she actually gave good answers. It probably prompted some, some thoughts from the rest of you guys. All right. What about you, Mrs. Real? You didn't answer. Before, what do you? What would parameters would you put on your son, or tell him to put? Excuse me. What parameters would you tell your son to put on a girlfriend? Yeah. So, um, a lot of things uh, the girls already said. So, communication is key. Like, there must be good communication. They have to be able to speak with each other and be open with each other. Another thing is. Would you tell your son to be kind of? I'm asking the same thing for her. Would you think it's in your son's best interest to be honest with her when she can use that against him later on? Remember, your son has a lot to lose. Well, another thing I would say to my son is to bring her to me so I can meet her and get to know her and get a feel from her okay. and understand like who, what's what's going on, you know, like from the mother instinct. Because mother... Right, what are you going to look for from a mother instinct to avoid then? So... What are some red flags that you would tell your son immediately? Hey, Values, values. If values are not aligned... And they're not matching, mm -hmm. then it's gonna be a crisis in in. Okay, what are those values lines? that need to be aligned specifically? So the val they the values um it depends on the upbringing. So if they there is like either a religious background that it's important to both of them, and they both want to maintain it, or if it's a if it's a one of them, then that will create a problem in their relationship later on. If okay, one of I'm them saying really, specifically really for cares. your son then, so go ahead and give it to me. So does she need to be Jewish for you? For me? Yeah. Yes. She, it's a requirement. Okay. Yes. So one of the parameters already, she has to be Jewish, right? Okay. What else? Um, the, Her family needs to be from a good upbringing. You know, there's a good family that she has a clean background. She's a good woman, good girl. Educated. So no OnlyFans. No OnlyFans. Okay. No. How educated does she have to be? Educated enough to hold a conversation, to speak okay. her mind. So uh, intelligent. Yes. So she can have a high school diploma, but be intelligent, you'll be okay with yes. that. Okay. Yes. So um, what else? Anything else that you would? Uh, character, good character that she has charisma. Um, if she's lazy and she doesn't want to do anything all day and she or just want to lay in fun. bed and just want to be, you know, uh, taken care of, then that's... So that's a boundary you would put on your son. If she doesn't want to work, no. Well, it, the, it, it's okay if you don't want to work, don't work. Do, that, do something with your life. Do something that inspires you. Do something that makes you grow. Because it, it doesn't even have to do, to, you know, to do with my son. It has to do with her life. She's going to be depressed and then she's going to ruin his life. 
Okay. What if that's OnlyFans? Well, that's not, it's not even, she's not even going to come into my house <laughs> <laughs> from the beginning. Okay. What do you call it? Uh, Sharmuta. Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, You're going to get banned on YouTube. Don't say it's okay. They don't understand <laughs> Arabic. Uh, okay. So, all right. Um, who else did it? Someone didn't get to go. Russia, did you go? Oh, no, no, you did. What about you? Did you finish your point? Someone, um, someone we missed out. Yeah, on. you just basically go ahead. Um, oh, so one of the things was time. That was another thing. Boundary is time. Um, and back to just being disciplined as far as like use your brain. Like if you see a red flag, act on it. Don't okay. let the pussy. Let me ask one follow up question then. What behaviors would you tell your son to absolutely forbid from his potential girlfriend? We could start. Who wants to go first? You want to go first? Okay, go ahead. Um, what behaviors should he absolutely forbid? Absolutely no letting her yell at you or raise her voice at you or talk to you like you're her kid. Okay. No yelling and uh, no, okay. Just no no yelling, no cursing, calling you out your name, that's okay. dead, like none okay. of that. All right. What about somebody else? You had your hand up first? No? Okay, what about... I'm going to go to all of you, by the way, so... Come back. You're going to... Yeah. Come okay, what, what, what behaviors would you tell him to absolutely never tolerate from Abusive girl? behavior. Okay, lying. abusive is a very catch-all term. L lying. Okay. This, uh, being deceptive. Disrespect. Okay, him. what level of deceit? Because women wear makeup and that's considered deceptive. No. Like, something that is more moral. That has to do with morals and values. You know? Lying. Okay. Like just saying a lie okay so don't tolerate lying anything else miss on yeah if she's not honest if she's uh she's but uh, what level of honest because let's be honest here there's there's different spectrums right it could be oh you look handsome today even though he looks like shit should he get rid of her for lying about that or should he get rid what level of lying does it need to cut her off Listen, if she's trying to throw a surprise party for him and then she's lying to him that she's going to go, I don't know, to be with her friend and then she's planning a party at home, then that's that's OK, because it's a lie. It's a white light for the purpose of, you know, making him happy. But yeah. if it's a lie, I'm say, like she said, oh, I'm going to go hang out with my friend and then she's going to hang out with a guy and okay. he doesn't know about so that. If, he's, that's, that's if he's sleeping with her and she's saying that she's making him or he's making her orgasm and she keeps saying that over and over and over again. <laughs> Is that an okay lie? Because it's making him feel better. No, and that's not him okay. Feel, but that's a white lie. It's a slippery slope. Well, it's okay sometimes. It depends <laughs> oh. when it's okay. No, I, first of all, in general, I don't think it's okay to lie, period. Oh. I, I don't think, no, because it's it's against yourself. Like we, we do things like that. Like I think... You know, relationships with others first begin with relationships with our with the relationship that we had with ourselves. Mm -hmm. If we lie to ourselves, we're going to feel comfortable to lie to others. Sometimes we need to lie in order to not to get to places that we don't want to get. And that's for the you the pure use of the protection of our own peace and our own safety. OK, and that's valid. But. You know, so lying is kind of where it is. So you're saying lying when it's deceptive and practiced, which might lead to infidelity. Any other behaviors that you would tell them uh, you uh, unacceptable? Um, same thing if she's just trying to get money from him and not do nothing all day. If she's just trying to okay. live off him and not do nothing, like okay. she has to have a life, she has to have passion. Okay. Uh, man, you lie just any, now, man. <laughs> any any behaviors that are automatically you need to tell your, your um, son to watch out for? Or not tolerate from his girl when she's aggressive and when she treats bad her parents. Okay. Yeah. Wait, yeah. did I just hear, hear her say it's okay to lie? <laughs> you can just justify <laughs> why you can lie. I'm talking about you. What? No, I did not say that. You said it's know. okay to lie, but protect you from going deeper into more lies. Oh, I I can give you an example so I can explain what I was talking about. Let's say someone is um, is asking you something that has to do with your safety, your right. address, okay? Mm -hmm. And you don't want to give that address to that man or the, this person. You don't know who is going to, you know, tell it to who and then who is going to come to your home. Then instead of saying, you know, yeah, I live in, I don't know, in Miami, you say I live in Pompano Beach. That's, that's, that's okay. If it's for the sake of your safety, then it's okay to lie. 
But why do you have to tell them where you live at all? Why can't you just say it's none of your but business? You feeling... can't. You, yes, you you can't. I mean, that would be my answer. Are... If I didn't want somebody to know where I live, I just say it's none of your business. <laughs> yeah, but some <laughs> people, some people, they they don't get they they don't know when no is no. Then you walk away, and you they like, push. Well, I don't situation. still I still don't justify it in saying like that you're from a different place. You just don't have to answer it. That's an extreme situation, of course. Like. Well, you just said you had a perfect example. So I'm only saying well, like there's another. I there's another saying, well, the example is like... just because it happened to me and I couldn't walk away. I was in a, in a, you know, in a public place. It was an event. Someone asked me, I said, I'm not interested in answering. You asked me over and over again. And then I, I lied. And I guess you're saying like, but yeah, do be yeah. Yeah. sometimes I can understand because but it's not like a lie. You may need to lie to protect your country. Okay, let's move on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I get it. I get it. Um, <laughs> some more chats here. Any more? Any more input here, guys? Before we move on. Cool. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Bears Lyra says, "Big Boston Seal Network, let's go!" Shout out to you, bro. Uh, Law of Distraction donated ten memberships. Shout out to you, bro, as well. Appreciate that support. Uh, we have next uh, Wayne again. Ten memberships. Shout out to you, Wayne. I was supporting the chat. Jake Kulik says, first, what is your intake on letting your girl go to an all-girl club? Ladies, if your man told you he would be okay with you going to all-girl club, would you listen or still want to go to a regular club? Thanks, FNF. Hmm. What's would, an all-girl club? I guess there's no where guys do, there. Where so do they have those? Oh, That's they actually it. have those. Yeah. Um, my friend actually just went to one in Orlando, apparently. They, yeah. like, shut down the club and it was just only girls allowed in. So they don't let Men in? I mean, it was an event for the night. It was just, oh, it's just all girls. Event. It was all girls for the night. But it was it was cool because, you know, you're just vibing. So the premise is girls say all the time, hey, babe, I want to go with my friends have a good time. Mm -hmm. So you can go to club, but an all girls club. Would, would you still go or would you want to go to a regular club? I'd still go. Would you still go? I would I would go. Yeah, I would go to all. I mean, I would go to either. So, but so remember, your man wants you to go to, to an all girls said, you know, club. You can right. go have fun. Right. But only to an all girls club, not regular club with guys. Yeah, I would. I would. Definitely, I would go. I would go to an all because I think club. you can cheat with a girl too. So right, I mean, I mean, I just it doesn't take like, just a guy girl to have an infidelity. Right? True. I mean, so. But would you be cool with that if I guy be, told you? I'd be okay with that just because, personally, for me, I already don't like men anyways. Like I, I don't like the answer guys in the club. I don't like them talking <laughs> to me. Emotional, damn it. Friend group, so like. True. Okay, that's. I mean, that's fair. No, that's facts. Like I just. Men are weird in the club. Just so the nice me, <laughs> not other guys. I'll be nice to you. <laughs> yeah, I got you. What about you? Sure, that's fine. So you're cool and not going to a regular club like Vendome or, you know, Wink Wink? Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't need to go. For you? I think that's cat though, but it's okay. <laughs> uh, for you? I go. No, no. I mean, all the time, though. You're not going oh, to a regular club. Oh, all the time? Club. I mean, if... I... No, I just want to shake my ass with my homegirl, so yeah. I don't go anywhere. Right? But I mean, all the time, not really. I don't go to the club all the time. Isn't really a thing. So one time, yeah, I'll go. But yeah. okay, so but let's say you were an avid club goer, and he said to you, "Only goes club." Are you cool with that? Oh yeah. So your friends say they want to go to a regular club, but you can't go because. And my friends said they went to go to a regular club, and they didn't want to go to the all girls club. Then I'm going with to the regular club. But your man doesn't want you to go to regular but club. But are you is are you insecure? Why can't I? Ah, <laughs> there it is. There it is. No, okay. but I mean, if my friends want to go out and it's like whatever occasion, so I'm fuck gonna. Your man, yeah. fuck it's him. not fuck him, but it's like be real. Like I will go. Like it's an occasion. I don't go to the club all the time. Like why can't I go out one time with my homegirls? I'm a PhD. Okay. Uh, I, well, not yet. <laughs> all, on the way. On the way. Soon to be. <laughs> what about you? I would go to the all girls club. Yeah. Okay. So only Alco's Club, never regular club. Yeah, if that's what my man, if that's what makes my man happy, I'll do that. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. And then for you? How is he going to be able to go in if he's only woman too? There's no woman club here. Like there's only <laughs> women's club in Spain or something. And if there was a woman club here, I will be there. I love it. <laughs> hey. I love her. Her answers are amazing, by the I way. Know. You're a great person. She's just adorable. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love her. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Hungry. Ladies, no, pick that's... one. Uh, a, a comfortable, high profile status job where you get to travel only $60,000 per year or clean sewage for 150 k per year. This will be your only source of income. So, ladies, which one do you prefer? High profile, high status job where you get to travel and you get $60,000 a year or Clean sewage for $150,000 per year. We'll start here and then work our way. Which high, one? High profile. Okay. Status job. Okay. 
Do you get to travel on the other option, or are you kind of stuck no, with the sewer, trash? No, nah, you're, yeah, you're, you're stuck stationary. with all the trash? Yeah, you're, just, yeah, well, you're, 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 nah. you're, you're traveling to the sewers. Yeah. <laughs> That's nah. it. Like, yeah. No, I'll, I'll go with the first option, a comfortable high profile. Okay. The, the travel is all expenses paid. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But you only get 60K a year. Yeah? 60K. All right. What about you? Um, The first option. What's the point of making all that money if you can't travel and spend it? You can spend it. Interesting. In the sewer? <laughs> in the no sewer. Okay. What about you? Um, I'll do sixty k. What about you? I'd actually do the one fifty. You do the one fifty. Mm-hmm. Okay. Interesting. I think that question kind of illustrates how women are more concerned with status and uh, experiences versus making money, versus like most guys would probably elect to do the sewer job. Yeah. Um, because they understand that a man, their value is typically intimately tied to how much money they Income. earn. But uh, okay, interesting. But that's nasty. I'm not trying to clean those sewage. But I just want to be able to travel. <laughs> well, that goes back like to what traveling. you said before. That men are have a higher proclivity to work harder than women. Remember? So I just back my point. You back, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Girls get mad at me when I say that that uh, men typically work harder than women, and they get all mad. But I mean, um, maybe like, there's different jobs that are working hard. That it's just not necessarily a nasty job. Like, you know what I'm. Th- when it comes to physical labor, more laborious professions oh, yeah, absolutely overwhelmingly men dominate them because that. because women choose just to not go in those jobs i mean For sure a controversial take i say women in general are lazy when it comes to resource creation and what i mean by that is women a lot of times aren't incentivized to work hard laborious jobs or work long hours or take, le- take less vacation at the cost of earning more money because women don't have the same how do I say this? They don't have the same impetus and the same motivation to go out there and create excess resources because a woman's value is not based on how much money she earns or the status she acquires. Her value is based on her beauty, youth, and fertility. Sorry, I had that to shout to you. Also, shout out to FIU. Wait, wait, wait. I was listening. I was listening when I said PhD. That's a great school. Hold on, hold on. Let her say, go ahead. You were going to say something and then you were going to say something. Please, go ahead. Oh, no, I just uh, was listening and then I started getting this, like, and I didn't want to, like, I'm not going to. Sorry, zoning out? Yeah, I'm not going to have a rebuttal if it's not, like, to everything you said. Like it, if I didn't hear, wasn't listening to everything you said. But wouldn't it, you have to listen to everything I said to be able to rebut it? That's what I'm saying. That's why I didn't have a rebuttal oh. because I didn't like I didn't hear everything. She, she, had, to, she had to reboot. You so you didn't listen, okay? No, she's based out, man. <laughs> I listened to the right. first part and then to like my you know, yeah, sorry. Wow. Yeah. Um, yeah. Black, black screen. Isn't a part of occupational therapy listening? It really is. It really is. I am a good listener, though. Bro, send an asshole. Oh, my God. I'm going to be a great therapist. Uh, okay. So what are you going to do when they're sitting there telling a boring-ass story of their life? No, I'm just saying they're like... (laughs) They'll be doomed. They will not. You know, they'll be sitting there like... No, but the answers that you say, they have to actually... I'm sorry, I was listening. I can be... Be, having empathetic answers and then having answers because you're going to say every like you need to come correct with your answers because you're going to have a response to everything that's said. So I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I heard everything that you said when I like I got the show. Wouldn't that motivate you to listen even more? It would. But, you know, attention is a th- like something came to my brain. I'm so sorry. <laughs> like I was listening to the first part. I really was. <laughs> and, um, you know, I just thought, yeah, it's fine. All right. Fantastic. Case what about you? Point. You were trying to say something? Yeah, but then we got way off track. So, But I was going to say Go that um, men do tend to work harder. I agree with that. Or yeah. like they have more incentives to work harder because they have to provide for the family. Yeah. But also, I feel like women, um, w- a goal for a woman is also to have a work-life balance. And I feel like men might work themselves crazy mm-hmm. um, and then, you know, be unhappy with all that money. Mm-hmm. While for like women prioritize other things besides money like i like i want money and i want career but i also want to be at peace and i want to be like fulfilled and be happy fair enough i mean yeah that's just another way of saying what i said that women are not willing to make the sacrifices required to achieve financial excellence to the same degree that but i think that is a sacrifice in a way because i'm sacrificing making more money 
for that peace of mind. You can make what the hell was that? Only you can say and make no sense say that. Yo, you're the same. Yo, no, but you can make fifty thousand and still be a millionaire. No, 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 no. Look, she just reframed it, saying like, "I'm making a sacrifice by not making more money to do what I want to do." Exactly. her own words. Yeah, but like, that's a sacrifice in a way. The point is, is that women are not as likely to make sacrifices in their personal life in the in the furtherance of financial success that, that men are bro because women are not evaluated on their success that's bro. precisely what i'm saying bro i will say if I'm, go ahead because but, if it was the case that women like their mating options were directly tied to their social status and their ability to earn income we would see way more women in construction we see way more women in STEM. We see way more money in women being engineers, being Alaskan fishermen, oil offshore drilling. Women would do these hard jobs if their status, excuse me, if their status mattered in their income towards getting a mate. But they don't. It doesn't. So that's why women don't do these jobs. Well, actually, human I beings are lazy by nature. STEM. Sorry. I read a thing about STEM. The reason women don't get into STEM careers is because there's pressure put onto women. So I do feel like a lot of it is because of society like not society but yeah even yeah i do okay so explain to me why women dominate college attendance 60 to 70 percent of college universities most of the time are uh, attended by females why do men, men even though they're a minority of the college population may uh make an overwhelming amount of the stem students so the study was the study was about how like um it was a teacher they gave the kids like a paper and they said to fill out this problem and then the, the men just like went away and did the problem but the women were like overthinking and then they had they looked at the history and what the women put was correct but they over they over they doubted themselves so they went back so huh over analyzed yeah they over analyzed and they doubted themselves and then they went back so i do i feel like that's part of the reason women aren't in stem i don't think it's because because yeah i think stem is (laughs) well i I think i think a big reason why women don't get into stem is because Again, it's not women aren't necessarily interested in things like men are. Women are more interested in people. That's why they tend to get into occupational therapy, sociology. Yeah. Uh, they want to work with people because women are just more socially oriented in general than men are. So, you know, and these jobs, unfortunately, tend to pay less than other jobs that are more laborious or harder or require more critical thinking like STEM. But women just don't want to get into these jobs because for what? Why is that? What's the reason? I think because it would actually I don't mean to cut you off. I'm sorry. I just I think, too, because I think. And to to further your point, it would limit their mating because I think that it masculine it makes them more masculine in those laborious jobs. And to a degree, yeah, right. Like, yeah, I mean, to a degree. I mean, women still go into like you know they try to still you know do entrepreneur work and CEO work or whatever. But what I've realized is typically women choose jobs that are less laborious physically. Mm-hmm. Um, what are you gonna say? Go so I'm in STEM, and um, as I was saying earlier um, about the sacrifices, so. If I had um, to take a a high paying job that wouldn't leave me space for, you know, my family and things like that, like I would sacrifice that job because. Which degree did you get first, psychology or infotech? uh, First was psychology. Mm. So then you went into the workforce, realized this is trash, and then you went back in for another degree? I realized I have the capacity um, to do bigger things. Okay, she didn't like her job. Yeah, you didn't like your job. So you went back. I, I liked my job. I thought my job was very rewarding, but it was very emotional. And why didn't you, what was it? Um, I worked with uh, kids with autism. Why didn't you stay? Um, I was getting too attached to kids. It was very hard, actually. Fuck them kids, right? <laughs> we'll say that. Uh, well, I guess I'm just not Okay, and then you decided enough. to go into tech, <laughs> which is a complete 180. You know? Was it, yes. for, to, to, was it to like make more money or is it, was it, um, it was to take to make more money, but it was also because I've, I I don't want to work. I don't want to be emotional at work. I, I feel like it took a toll on me as a person. OK. And then now you work in you said it, like infotech. What do you do like specifically? So I actually just graduated and I'm. Uh, oh, look- so you didn't land a job yet in tech. So I just started looking for a job. Okay. I'm currently bartending. Wait, okay. so I have a question. Do you all care what type of job a woman has? Realistically? No. Exactly. So. No, that was the question. So would you rather have a uh, a woman with but you rather have a woman with no job and no career and no ambition? Men typically don't care about these things. But wouldn't you get bored with this type of person if you're spending like long periods of time together or like for the rest of your life? I mean, from a male perspective, men don't look at these 
survival characteristics that you're describing of like being ambitious, earning money and status, like men don't typically care. The more money a man makes, the less he cares about these things. What about like a power couple? Do we not do we not believe in power? There's couples? no such thing as a, that's one of the biggest lies. Let's be man. honest here. Your money that you make from your job, you can spend it on us. No, you're mainly gonna spend it on yourself. So you're loved. You're, that's you're, not true. You spend money on your man. Of course, when I'm in, nope. in a relationship, Good. I spend money Perfect. on my man. I'm glad you said that. Do you pay the bills? No, thank you. I did. Right, I did on. pay the bills. How long? Um, I've always been fifty-fifty, even though that wasn't the perfect situation for me. But how did it work out for you? That's what she. It didn't want. work out for me. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. But that doesn't. But that doesn't mean I'm gonna abandon my ambitions and my. I'll no. be honest. There's no such thing as a power couple because women don't respect men that are equal to them. So for us to be a power couple, that would assume equality. And the last time I checked, women don't want to equal. They want a superior in almost every metric of human regard, whether it's strength, competence, income, capacity, confidence, ambition, women don't necessarily seek an equal. And if they do meet an equal, it's just a matter of time until that buzzer beater hits. And she says, you know what, man, I'm going to go shoot with somebody else. So what if like you're my mentor, we're in the same field and stop the show <laughs> by being a mentor. What does that inherently mean? We're not equal. We're not. You're already. You're already above. You're already in a subordinate but that's position. Still, but I think that's still a power couple. If you're investing How? in the, if you're investing in the same, in the same thing, it's in the same. If yeah, if you're my mentor and I'm helping you, uh, let's say I'm your assistant. You're like. The, so a power couple to you is what is is still when I'm when you're assisting a man. <laughs> you're I think assisting. there's different definitions of a power couple. <laughs> okay, so. In the general sense that people use power couple, they like to use someone like a Jay-Z and a Beyonce, two individuals who are both wildly successful in their own endeavors that come together in a relationship. That's typically how the power couple frame is used, right? What I'm saying is that in general, the whole power couple concept is a lie. It's a facade. It doesn't exist because women don't want a man who's equal to them. They want a man who's superior to them. And I would even argue that Beyonce, Jay-Z situation is even a power couple because Beyonce superior to, excuse me, Jay-Z superior to Beyonce in almost every regard. She's old. She's not as attractive as she used to be. Facts. She makes a lot of money. She's she sells out price herself. Okay. <laughs> you got to understand that just even though she's attractive, she's never going to be as attractive when she was 21 mm -hmm. versus being damn near 50. Women's value is typically tied to their age, unfortunately. Kind of sucks for y'all. I mean, take it as Jay-Z cheated on Beyonce anyway. And so. she ain't going nowhere. And she stayed. So, tell you, so, so who has a leverage in a relationship? Who has more value? Jay-Z does. So and I would argue that that's what makes him attractive to Beyonce in the first place. Women lie and say they want a power couple, but the reality is women want a man who has power so that they can extract from it. To make them more powerful. There you go. Mm -hmm. Women acquire power through their man, typically. Not necessarily, yeah. you know, some women acquire it on their own. Fantastic, sure. But in general, most women will prefer to get their power through their man being successful. That's why women want to take a last name. That's why women want a leader. That's why they want a man who superior. So the whole power couple dynamic and equal partnerships i think it's a big lie that we say in america it doesn't exist because women are not attracted to equals they're attracted to superiors i mean even the example you gave with a mentor is that's that's a subordinate position he has the power not not you he's choosing was, you as an assistant it was just an example but can um can a couple like own a business together and run different aspects of the business because women bring something to the table but it's that a man's men business the woman's assisting yeah no, we're talking about a different example now. Now, now this is a different example. So, okay, so who owns the business? Because there's got to be one like they're married. They they're married. They own the business together. They okay, do, but who started they, the business? They started it together. What there was money. <laughs> Nothing typically gets done by a board. That's a fairy tale thing. There typically has to be one decision maker. Anything of real consequence, whether it's a CEO, uh, sorry, a Fortune 500 company, or you know, the United States being run by a president, there's always a decision, a final decision maker. If I may, I think yeah. what they're actually, I, if if I'm translating all of this correctly, I think more what they're talking about is like a team, right? Like even yeah. in a team situation, there's still, there's still a point guard. There's still a, point guard. Yeah. There's still a leader. There's still um, a, a captain, right? Like, so even on a team, you can fight and like, and want the same thing and work towards the same goal, but there's still ultimately going to be that captain. The only time teamwork from a totally egalitarian standpoint and everyone is equal, the only time teamwork actually works is when women work with each other. When a woman is dealing with a man, she's expecting competence and superiority. It doesn't work any other way around. Women are not attracted to equals, man. That's just the unfortunate reality. Men have to be better than women in every regard to even get their attention. 
Retweet. Okay. Retweet. Agree. Love that. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, cool. Did anybody? Did you have anything on that, or anybody else disagree? To agree? Disagree? I don't know. Sure. I mean, like I said earlier, that um, men bring certain things to the to the table, and women bring other things to the table. So I feel like even though a man might make the majority of the decisions, a woman can still uh, bring something valuable and make certain decisions at certain times not all the time but i'm saying when it comes to something that this woman is good at like let's say let's be like basic and say like something that having to do with like emotions and then that's when she can contribute something that's, inconsequential that doesn't matter something that matters something that i think all the things that matter the man needs to like, be the leader in what that. about like customer relations like women are sometimes more personable than men more. and and they can get along with other people more so what if you know i'm taking care of um like getting like getting the customers and um just getting the gaining their trust and but you're taking care of the position of the I technical would, things that's a replaceable position if you took you out of that position or took the female out of that position would that business still run effectively or could that could he then hire effectively somebody to do that role yes. in a yeah. replacement absolutely replaceable. yeah so i kind of you know, if you play chess, right, right, the queen, if you look at it, she can move as many spaces on the board in any direction. And I would liken that a lot to how women move in the world, right? Women are able to get certain opportunities once they come of age. They're able to be on yachts and meet millionaires and get celebrity situations and get into clubs for free if they wear enough makeup and podcasts dresses and stuff and get on podcasts and all this other stuff, right? They can move as many pieces on the board. However, you know, the woman, the, the, the queen can die and you can still win the game. Right. And on top of that, you can get a pawn to the other side and turn it into a queen. But if the king is surrounded, the game's over. OK. And I don't mean that to say, oh, yeah, this is You're my where pawns misogynistic were? thing or whatever. But what I'm trying to say is, in general, the value that women provide is almost always replaceable by another female. And the reason for that is because men have to bring way more value than women do. Because so if the king is surrounded, the game's over. But if you lose your queen, you can always get another pawn across and turn it into a queen. So in other words, <laughs> men are made, women are just born, man. So it is what it is. But uh, I, I think men have to inherently bring way more value to a relationship to even get that situation. That's why I don't think, I don't believe in equal partnerships. I don't think it works when it's equal between the two genders because women are just not set up to respect an equal. They're set up to respect only a superior for good reason because you guys take way more of the biological risk. You got to carry a kid for nine months. You got to rely on this guy for um, security and provisioning, et cetera. You got to make sure you're with the, that guy. Right? Checkmate. Can I ask a question? <laughs> yeah. So then what uh, will it take a man to respect a woman? Like, Not like, much. I mean, it's very easy for a woman to come in and be respected by... I would oh, argue really? most guys respect women by default. Yeah, up front. Yep. But women don't respect men by default. Yep. And that's when yeah. men lose Which respect is okay, for women. But I, yeah. I've noticed that women in general don't respect... A majority of women don't respect a majority of men. However, a majority of men absolutely respect the majority of women. And our queens. You think so? I actually don't think so. You don't think so? Why, no, why don't, don't you think, think so? so? By the way, that men, even like the way they interact with women at the club, the way that they interact with women at the club, the way okay. they just interact with women. You're they at don't... a club. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. It's the quality of men. It's like, okay, or even in general, 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 today, for example. Okay. Today. Go ahead. I was getting a little banana. And like a person, like, hey, 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 like that's, you don't, I don't think that's respectful. Like being like, hey, hey trying to, no, oh, trying okay, to like, okay. like cat calling and stuff like that. I don't think that's okay. respectful. Wearing like, that? Huh? Wearing that? Okay. Let me ask you this. That one guy, right? What was it? One guy that cat called you? That, I mean, that happens. Or even just like men honking and screaming yeah, but out you, the window. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is what we tend to not do though. We only notice the negative, but we don't notice the positives. You also probably don't notice the guys that hold the door open for you. I you notice, notice the guys that say, "Ma'am." You don't notice the guys that treat you very I well. I actually do notice. Give you respect. Okay. I do know when. Mm-hmm. Literally, I do notice. I because I when I think kindness is a beautiful thing. So when people are kind, even when they like someone says, "Have a good day," when they're coming out the elevator, I'm like, yeah. "Touch." So I do yeah. notice. But I'm, I would argue that most of those guys, you probably get more of that than the cat calling. Um, actually, I wouldn't say. I, How like, many cat calls did you get today? How many? Only one person tried talking to me today, and it was a cat call. So if we're speaking on today alone, it's more disrespect than. But respect. how many people were in your environment today that didn't disrespect you? 
that didn't do respect or disrespect. That held the door for no, you. But, that, saying, but nobody held the door for me today. Nobody, like, it was... Nobody walked by you in the lobby downstairs did, and didn't didn't not call, 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 cat call you. Excuse me. I'm sorry? Like, when we were downstairs, before we came upstairs. Oh, yeah, nobody there cat were, called me, but there no were men the door walking either. in and door. But nobody okay. held the door either. No men, like, nobody did anything that was respectful, per se. Men are respectful, yes. But I'm saying, but like, by default, but wouldn't them not today? cat calling you in the lobby or walking around even in the that attire was... that we're all dressed in? Isn't that respect by default? Yeah, like they weren't disrespectful. I felt they like the guys disrespectful. out there were respectful. They were very they respectful. Were, they, they, didn't, they, they didn't say anything. Our they didn't say anything crazy to me. They didn't make they any would smile. comments. But I know they smiled. Like you know I had that's... guys say, "Excuse me." I had guys say, it's, "They smiled as they walked by." It was very pleasant. It was very polite. Right. So I consider that being gentlemen, like hey, because they're privilege is what invisible to those that have it so you might not say all the time but she's right they're being respectful yeah Yeah. there was was a woman actually very interesting she there was a woman that like um was a man for like a year and a half yeah right and she actually ended up like offing herself after the end of the year and a half because she was like wow life as a man is way harder than i thought and a lot of the times when females switch over and become a man one of the biggest obstacles they deal with mentally is like the lack of respect that they get in society and how invisible they are invisible. to individuals. Like women get a lot of uh, privileges and certain situations set up for them just because they're female that men will never get. And and, and that's okay. I'm I not sitting here crying for it. But what I'm saying in general is I've noticed that a majority of men absolutely do respect women, but a majority of women absolutely do not respect men. Here's a perfect example to kind of majority, back you up too, that, is but... I've taken several Ubers in the last couple of weeks and I had a suitcase with me. If I have a male driver, 99.9% of the time he is getting out of the car, he's opening the trunk, he's putting my suitcase in the trunk, he's opening my door, and he's letting me in. Now, I've had female drivers that have not gotten out of yeah. the front nope. seat. Yeah, they're not. They're, 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 they're not. They're, not they're, they're, like, you got this they're like, <laughs> if you're a girl, you've got your own suitcase. So, like, it's there. It's a perfect example of, we, I don't think a lot of people women see the women, women, are kind of women get the equality that they seek from other women. <laughs> <laughs> and they don't like that shit. Wait, we split the bill? What? Oh, wait, 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 wait. You, you not moving my bags? Like, what the fuck? Yeah, I right. mean, I, and here's another thing, too, because I know you said that chivalry is dead or whatever. I mean, that's true. I would agree that to a degree chivalry is dead. But I would argue that a big reason why chivalry is dead is because women are more masculine. So if women are more masculine, you can't necessarily command and demand masculine. chivalry when chivalry was instituted in a time when men and women weren't equal. I would argue now that women are more equal than ever before. I think women have more rights and privileges than men. So how could you demand chivalry while simultaneously having all the advantages and being equal? It doesn't make sense, right? I would argue you got what you wanted. Yeah, equality. y'all got the equality. Yeah, you can't. Because you you yeah. here's the problem with chivalry. You cannot demand chivalry and equality at the same time. Ooh. Because chivalry in itself is inequality. Oh. You're, getting, you're getting different treatment based on you being a female, which conflicts with feminism and equality. So you got to pick one. Either you get treated like a lady and get privileges that only women get, or you get the equality that you seek and you get treated like everybody else, which won't be chivalry. Bars. I don't know. Facts. Anybody have anything? Mic drop. Israel I doesn't like that. Mic drop. <laughs> no, I I um I don't I don't like something else you said. Sure, earlier. go ahead. What, what did you not like? Mind. And we got to close up soon. That you said uh, men are made, and then women are born. Women are born. Okay. Why? What do you disagree with on that? That. Women are also giving birth, and you came from one also. So it's not okay. right to say that men are made. Okay. You can say men can be self made and they, you know, they work themselves for success, but it doesn't like just. Okay, being let's hard. go with your example because you said I came from a woman, right? All right. Well, mm-hmm. you did. Yeah. But let me let, let's go back because if we're gonna go with that with that frame, then we gotta go all the way back and go back in time, right? So my mom, my parents are still together to this day, right? Sudan. They they met in Sudan. Um, and my dad had to reach a certain level of status and have certain things in place to even get a shot with my mom. So my dad had to make himself become a man to be attractive for my mom. My mom just existed. And she'll even admit that, you know, my dad had to reach certain requirements to even be, be able to t- you know marry her you know and um you're from the middle east you understand yeah so that's just how it is so i mean when i say that women are born and men are made that's effectively true because when a woman's 18 years old bam she has everything that she needs right and some in some cultures maybe even younger right age of consent is different different places different cultures but in general women are born with their value right and their beauty 
And then they're able to attract a man off that. But the man has to do things to become attractive. He's got to get a job. He's got to learn how to fight. He's got to learn how to get in shape. He's got to have some accolades to his name. He has to make his last name worth having for the woman to want to take it. So that's what I mean when I say that. Okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> fair enough. Uh, and in Israel, it's the same thing. I mean, I mean, this is kind of how it is everywhere. Like, you know, men have to become something for the woman to be attracted in the first place. But I think yeah. women kind of overlook that because for women, you're in a privileged position where the man comes to you. It's not the other way around. Are women approaching men? I mean, actually, women yeah, approaching I mean, men. I have, well... Women are definitely okay. Ask them. yourself the men that you approached. This was the first time yeah. I ever approached me, so I'll be honest, he's right. Yeah, but w- ask yourself the man that you did approach, he was probably well above average if you have actually had the gall to approach him. We're talking about an exceptional man if a woman makes the approach, correct? Facts. The guy you approached, I don't approach men, but I do know women. No, approach men. I know okay, women wait, who wait, approach wait. men. I so said, guy, I said, why'd you say women approach men? Then, if you because I know women who approach men, but in general, do women approach men? No, oh, they don't, no, unless he's like exceptional, which is and the example in a club. You can as see right there what? and then. Yeah, I'm not. No, who approaches who in a club? Yep. The man approaches women in a club. Thank you. Sorry, you had a point. Yeah. Well, I want to add that. No, I don't want to judge no one, but I know that Jew- Jewish guys are more wild just because his family or <laughs> they don't let them have fun or be like free because his family or they tell them like. You can't have a girlfriend that's not Jewish. So he's going to be having fun with other girls that are not Jewish. You know uh, what I mean? Well, I mean, you know a part I mean? of that is because the, uh, the lineage is, is oh, it, with the with the female. So the mom's got to be Jewish for it to be passed. Yeah. That's a part of the reason. Jewish. Mm-hmm. Okay, Jewish. Whatever. <laughs> No, sorry, Joy. but I had, a, I had a relationship with a guy Fantastic. that was Jewish. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, yeah. All right, so we'll get last thoughts and comments here. Yeah. Um, after these, or, or, yeah, after these. Okay, all right, I'll fly through these. Um, shout out to IRS and YouTube memberships. I appreciate that. First of all, Sasha, your only source of protein will be from us after we take you to dinner. Yeah, Wait, who? who's yes. that? He said that to Sasha. Yes, but who's sir. that? Fresh, good donut pilly ready, a pillow ready, aka the Caucasian adapter for her after we finish bedroom fun time. Make the move, big homie. Yeah, get him fresh, get him fresh. <laughs> That's, That's my dog. Your response for fresh balls. <laughs> That's my dog. No, you don't have a response. That's no, my no. dog. <laughs> As a man of God, that is not me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> fresh, fresh, thank you for donating to the uh, church. No. World Economic <laughs> Forum, you will be happy and owe nothing. He always comments when certain things are on the panel, right? Let's see what you're doing here. Shout out to Wayne for gifting 10 more YouTube memberships. I appreciate that. Shout out to Wayne. And then we got John. Ladies, let's say you had an emotional son who cried whenever he ran into hardship in life. Would you say it'd be more acceptable for him to just be emotional with his wife as he is to you? Yes, if he wants to be emotional with his wife like he's crying to you as a mom. Damn, none of y'all. Okay. Nope. And then y'all expect us to be vulnerable. I wonder why. <laughs> Cold blooded. Not to an extreme. Uh, oh, now yeah. it's not to an extreme. Oh, 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 not my son. I got to feel uh, the vibe first. Yeah, fresh and fit, fleshy pro CEO here. Your previous fleshy pro chat had me rolling, but ain't about losing respect. It's about leveling up bench press for your bedroom skills. What y'all think? Huh? What? Wait, what? 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 He's talking about? There's a lot in there. I don't know. What are you saying? <laughs> Alpha male matters. Will you sacrifice your career to take care of a family and serve your men if your men proves on anything? Love FNF from India. Feminism is getting here. Two men. God save us all. What? Okay. Raise your hands if you would sacrifice your career to take care of a family and serve your man. Raise your hands if you sacrifice your career. Okay. Only four of y'all? The other, I'm oh, like, so. Five? Like, I have. So. I mean, like, I would, but like, I really love my career. So, like, I mean, I love you acting. Wouldn't. I love my career. Okay, she wouldn't. Just say you wouldn't. I love my career. All right. Okay. <laughs> Tits on Playboy. Uh, most attractive race to you and why? Least attractive race to you and why? We can run real quick with cool. this. Le- most attractive race and why? Black, Shoot. white, Asian, Jewish. Mm. Money. Most attractive, I think, Cuban, Colombian, Mexican. Okay, Hispanics. Venezuela. Hispanics. Okay, uh, and least attractive. attractive. Okay. Jewish. Yeah. What the? Okay. I am sorry. <laughs> I am sorry. Oh, they are just not. They are cute. They are just. I just. I don't. 
All right. What the uh, fuck? But Jewish the is not a race. Too. It's a religion. All right. What about you? It's a... <laughs> she just raised her today. Oh, shit. So it's not a race, though. Because yeah. some people, so, some look at it as a race. It's They call it the, the, the Jewish people. Some. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Some people uh, call it know, a maybe. race. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, okay. But, yeah. but what, what about you? Least attractive, most attractive? Um, Most attractive, I would say, Israelis. Okay. Because I... You know, of course, where I was born and uh -huh. feels feels familiar. The least attractive. What otherwise. if they're what if they're Jewish but from not from Israel? Maybe American. That's a hard one. I'm open to that, but okay. I feel culture and you know just the language and stuff is just yeah. But open. Okay. Open. So for that, the most important thing is they're Jewish. Well, the most important thing that they are a good person. Okay. In heart. Okay. Well, and beyond well anything. of course i'm not telling you get with like a terrible person yeah <laughs> but um, assuming everything is equal i would say also um most attractive can be latins um people from russia from you know uh, eastern europe least okay. attractive to me niggas so, so, uh, so caucasian i would say most attractive eastern europeans say, are caucasian oh. i would say israeli and latin are the most okay yes and then least least and Black. then least i would say asians actually oh okay yeah. okay we to me. that's actually pretty good okay we right. what about you they don't love you a long time most attractive blacks um uh, yeah, yeah we yeah. knew that yeah facts um, i don't have a i don't have a least attractive you gotta have one come on, I don't date white, but thank you i, come ha again. I have thank it thank you come again you do it with him huh sadish you'll do yeah. you do sadish akish sure curry man stop the cow right, curry chicken you? Uh, most attractive, uh, black and Hispanic, and least attractive. Fresh. No, no. <laughs> yes, sir. Fresh. 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 He's a good mix between that. Yeah. Nice, that that's my dog. Okay. I'm, I'm too burnt, bro. That's my dog. I'm fresh. Get him fresh. And then, and then, least attractive. Right. Damn. Okay. Damn. Now you know why she left Russia. <laughs> so painting. <laughs> she was rushing out of Russia. Yeah. <laughs> uh, All right. Pretty funny. All right. See what I did there. All right. What about you? Um, most black. attractive, black, yeah, specifically yeah. island boys. Yes, sir. I would say, yeah, I've never dated a white guy, so yeah, or I've never been with a white guy either, so yeah. Damn, man. All right, what about you? I would say um, Caucasian and black most guys attractive. are most attractive. Oh, okay. Right. And I would say the least attractive, I'd have to agree, would be Asian. Uh, does it matter if they're like Oriental Asian, or are we talking like Indian? Um, small dicks. I say yeah. Indian. I would say Indian. Yeah. <laughs> They're not trying to think you're coming out of here. But we can say you're pretty much black and white. Hi, I am black. Yeah. You get it? Ah. <laughs> get him oh. fresh. Oh, okay. See so what we did there. Get him fresh. Um, yeah. All right, last thoughts. Uh, oh, we got some more. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, Billy, shout out to Big Mo looking yep. like Media Mo. Uh, it's not gay if it's not homo sexual. Okay. <laughs> That's not a very good God damn. And then we got. um. Chris, <laughs> ladies, do you think women are the happiest? Ultimately, forty-five years old, one mil a year, ugly, single, no kids, or twenty-five years old, making no money with your ideal husband, who you submit to paying your bills, beautiful, and two kids. Why? That's a lot, man. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. All right. Let, we can simplify I mean... this. Would you prefer to be pretty and broke or rich and ugly? We'll start right here as a female. Wait. Pretty and broke or rich and ugly as a woman? Yeah. Don't read that. Yeah. It's the same question essentially. Yeah. Rich and unattractive. Really? Yeah. Okay. What about I, you? I, I like the security of the money. Yeah, and that's just I like that. Yeah, because I mean, I was going, I was going for money anyways. Because I mean, you literally just said you want to give up your career, man, which is based in right. beauty. Oh, okay. fuck. Money. Right. You know, you're right. Money. I can't be ugly. What about you? Rich, I know, I, rich I and ugly, ugly, or beautiful and uh, beautiful and pretty, uh, beautiful and uh, broke. Beautiful and broke. Fair enough. Beautiful and broke for sure. Rich and ugly. Richard Stop the cow. Honestly. <laughs> no way. You, you know, honestly, you beautiful and rich, but in this question, I would... <laughs> beautiful and rich, yeah, but, you know. Uh, yeah, I would go with the beautiful and the unattractive. Oh, damn. Option. Okay. That's that was going to be the other one. Yeah, beautiful. The beautiful and, no, the beautiful and... Uh, I'm surprised. It broke. Yeah. Pretty and broke. Okay, pretty and broke. All right. Oh. What about you? Yeah, pretty and broke. Pretty broke as well. Okay, we knew that one. That's life. Uh, 
Mal Malsnow goes, episode 204, getting closer to 304. Also, please ask ladies if it ever came down to it, would they consider an abortion? What? The would you have an abortion if you got pregnant by the wrong guy? Yes or no? Yeah. Yes. No. I also would have unprotected sex yeah, with somebody that, like... Yeah, yeah, but something. let's assume the worst, that you got pregnant accidentally by a dude, kind of broke or some then shit. Then, yes, I would. An abortion? Okay. Would have Who would not have an abortion? You man, stop lying. Uh, seriously, I want to be a person, man. So if you got, you got stuck with a, you got stuck with you can't say never be put in that situation. So if somebody forced you on the side of the road, okay, well, that's different. Stop, right there, just stop, that's different. Whoa, that is different, but it's still. Listen, we're going to be 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 going to yeah, she. Uh, yeah. That baby yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, somebody put hair. Uh, somebody cast so that blue hair Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> what made you blue? I had my blue hair in 2017. And you missed it? My natural hair. Yeah. Like. Well, your natural hair is not blue. <laughs> when we met you, your hair wasn't blue. Yeah. <laughs> I know, but this is uh, a wig. I, I, I know it's a wig. <laughs> I had my hair blue like in 2017. I bleach my hair. Yeah, but blue. why did you make and it blue? And then it got fucked up, so that's why, like... Uh... But why did you make it blue, though? It's what he's asking. Because I feel like it fits my personality. Blue? What? Yeah. Blue, that would be... Okay. Crazy. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, let's get the final thoughts here and close this thing out. Um, we'll start here. How's the show for you? Yeah. It was awesome. Nice. It, was, it was really a great show, I think. Right. it was. There was some common ground and some things that... We had some good discussions. I'm curious real quick. Yeah. Would you ever stop your career if you found the right guy even now? Um, that would take care of you? No. No. So um, I don't. Good question. <laughs> For life. Yeah. Okay. For life, bro. Okay. Yeah. So I, ha I have she an end date. <laughs> I have an end date anyway, so I have like a very short window of I have like a yeah, a know. very precise uh, business plan. So it's like in when the menopause hits. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Exactly. yeah. when the eggs dry up, baby. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, what about you? Final thoughts or disagreements or points or anything? I mean, I hey loved it. It was hey y'all. Um, it was a great show. I felt like everyone had different opinions but we like you said came to common ground really good discussions it actually went better than i thought it was gonna go i thought mm -hmm. someone's gonna get frank castle for sure um but it went really good all right cool she's wait who you thought was gonna get frank castle tell us the honest truth no, sure. <laughs> don't care i a lot <laughs> these two when, these two but then when you started talking i was like oh she about to get pissed the fuck off sooner or later just snap <laughs> but okay. you did really well so oh, i love thank it. you this is so good thank you girl <laughs> Uh, what about you? Last thoughts? So on that, points. on that note, I do have a last thought. Yeah, so sure. when you said that um, women are born and men are made, yes. Um, I'm gonna give you a scenario. So in the scenario that let's say, so I'm in STEM, right? And when I'm looking for a job mm -hmm. in a professional in, in, industry, yeah. Let's say you and I go for the same job, yeah. How do you think they're gonna perceive us? And who like they're gonna You'll look at you? You'll have a way higher likelihood of getting the job over me. Yep. No, because they're gonna look at me. They're gonna be like, "She's blonde. She must be no. dumb. This is a man, and he probably know he probably knows action. what he's doing." Yeah. No. And, um, it's a real thing. If if you go into a male dominated profession and you're a female, you will absolutely get the job over a more qualified male for the purpose of uh, workforce diversity. I might get the Make job it. for that purpose, but. Yeah. Um, you will. will like will i get a promotion will i be i feel like i will still not be looked at the same way well and how you feel versus what's real are two different things you might feel as though you <laughs> might be real. looked at a different way but the fact that you're even getting the opportunity over a man who might be more qualified than you based on nothing more than your gender speak and volumes. Hair color. Yep. and couldn't you change your hair color easily i love my hair color this is my natural hair and, and you can and remember that's too, not the point i'm least, still gonna be pretty and and and, and, oh, and a woman so yeah. I'm if still going to be looking. If you perform, it doesn't matter really on gender. And as well, yeah. I used to do tech. Uh, I was in tech industry. A lot of women were... What did you do in tech? Troubleshooting, programming. But it's funny because all of my superiors, most of them were women. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's just it's yeah. like, if you put in the work, you actually ask for reasons. And, and here's the thing. I'm not uh, like unaware of the fact that like women absolutely kind of deal with a hurdle where if they're attractive to a degree or if they have a certain look, they're going to be written off as bimbos at first. However, it's on you to prove them wrong. Yes. Don't don't perpetuate the stereotype. So if you come in and you're competent, 
you're going to get an even bigger, you're going to get even uh, faster accolades and you're going to be able to <clears throat> move up even faster because now you meet the, diver the workplace diversity quota and you're competent. So you're going to move up the ranks. I mean, anytime I've ever seen a woman enter a male dominated field, they always rise up the ranks faster than the men do uh, every single time, whether it's law enforcement, which I saw that especially less competent females get uh, pushed up the ranks because of uh, in the support of work workplace diversity um, or other jobs that are male dominated. Women have a leg up. I mean, they've done studies on this, too, where they look at, like, uh, if a man submitted a resume with the same exact requirements and put it under a female name, he got way more calls. Oh, I mean, that's, uh, like, a fear that I have, like, going in. No, no, no. Into, you're going uh, to you're 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 have way more doors open for you as a female, especially in a male-dominated field. They're going to hire you. Actually, that's what I mean. We did a coding yeah. so. yeah. camp as well for part of that program. And actually, one of the girls said, you know what? Screw it. I want to do cybersecurity. She just got cyber security. She's the only girl hired there, but like she's the only girl that she applied and she got it right away, like this. So I'm just saying, like, you're gonna have way more options than most guys. Just tell yep. me, just, just be, being a girl. Yep. Okay, because okay. a lot I of girls encouraged. won't try to apply. Yeah. So not as you Thank feel you. like, but I mean, really, yeah. yeah. How you feel versus yeah. what's real are two different things. You're absolutely gonna have more doors open for you as a female, which is cool. I'm, I'm not knocking women for having female privilege, but that's one of the benefits of going to male dominated uh, career field. Yeah. So do you still think men are made or women are born? Still disagree. <laughs> <laughs> um gotcha, bitch. honestly you made some good points Thanks. so i i agree with let's say like 75 of it okay. and i also wanted to say that um it's really 90 percent, but she well, has to make mm, like let's say bad. like 78 percent. sure and um <laughs> more like 87 percent, but okay mm -hmm. but you said the woman had to be competent like they don't have to be you said like in order for, okay they, 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 they don't have to be a lot of the times like okay. that's are you listening no you said they have to be confident if they want to go up to ask for a you're raise. about to be a phd you can't even pay attention bro. Bro. No, so, 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 so you didn't say that women have to be competent in order if they want to get a raise they have to be confident you didn't say that that was not a thing that you said oh you mean uh, you, you mean yeah well if she uh, hold on so not so you said it hold on but the context was under her being judged as uh, so not be judged as a bimbo because that was one of her fears. Is like, I'm a blonde. I'm going to come in as a woman. They're going to think I'm incompetent. They're going to think I'm stupid. I'm like, no, no, you prove you're competent. So it was very specific right. context so under which I phrased it. To be competent, you have to be made, made competent. You have mm. to put in the work, mm -hmm. right? Or no? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, of course. Of course. But that's not that was, really... Oh, uh, relevant? The, it's not yeah, like it's I can really come not. in. It okay. is relevant because it's not like I can come into like a, 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 a STEM space and be like, hi, I'm a woman. Or whatever, but like, and even to be in STEM, you have to have certain criteria. So you, you still have to be made. No, 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 you no, have no, to no, put in like, the effort. It's not argument. No, my just... argument is that you don't have to be as competent as a man to get the position. However, if, I to disagree be taken, with that. Huh? I disagree with that. If a man had the same exact accolades that you did, your resumes are identical. They're going to take you over him. What if or they if already he, filled or, their or their had, women quota? Or, or if he had, even if he had more experience or whatever, you have you still have a higher likelihood of getting the job. You keep saying what if. Should, coulda, woulda. Have you actually applied for any jobs and got any turn downs? I've been applying for jobs. I've gotten all all the turn downs. Maybe they're just not hiring. Maybe Wait, no, no. Well, just... Okay, how many companies? Um, maybe fifty. Wow. Well, I mean, I'm gonna keep applying. I understand this. This is like a hard. Do you have um... any experience? Yes, I have experience. I did an internship. Is that it? That's not experience. That, that's <laughs> yeah. how okay. long was that internship? Uh, six months. Yeah. But I'm also besides applying for jobs, I'm also applying for internships. Like I'm not expecting to just come into this space and and like dominate it. Like I, I understand. You still you have, have a higher likelihood of getting hired for a job over a minute. But even even getting an internship, it's it's hard. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of people competing. Yeah, but right. That's just, so that's so just I'm saying, just because I'm a woman, a man, just because I'm a woman, they're not gonna be like, oh, we'll pick you. But I don't think it has anything to do with gender. It's just like what he just said. Like men go through that all the time because they're competing with other yeah. men. It's just the competition of right. world in general it has nothing to do with because you're a female. Yeah, like they're probably uh, just really uh, being just a female helps you is what I'm trying to yeah, say. Like, it's not hurting you yeah. at all. But you're looking at it as a negative way and thinking that because you're a girl, I'm that's just saying not hired, that that's men I... get more respect in certain spaces. That was that's my point. True. That's very true. Maybe at face value, but at least hold on. But at least you get the opportunity to be in the job. But you also does that make sense? I would I would job. rather come in with less respect and be able to come in in the first place. Pause. Then get more respect up front, but not get the job. Does that make sense? At least you get the opportunity to get the job and prove yourself versus the guy. Yeah, he might get a little bit more initial respect because he's a male, but he's not getting the job. So who cares? I'm yeah. telling you, you get the job, you work harder, you stay later. Yeah. And once again, you show girl, your competence, which is what I was this, saying. This girl her. came into, like, into the job. She studied uh, how to do hardware and software. I didn't do software. It's like a hardware. 
but like she put in the work and she got her, her rewards. I'm just saying, if you put in the work, you yeah. get what you deserve. Yeah, I mean, they're gonna have their assumptions, but if you come in and you know what you're doing, they're gonna be like, oh, okay, she knows she's not a bimbo. Prove them wrong. Yeah. So. Okay, moving on. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what, what about you? Last uh, thoughts. It was cool. Show. It was interesting. It was cool. Yeah. It was, <laughs> cool. it was interesting. Nice conversation. What did you learn? What did I learn? What did I learn? I... <laughs> World War II. Huh? Oh, it was in the. Come on, say you uh, got this. Come on, girl. You got this. Queen. It was in I'm a the <laughs> 40s. Yeah! Oh, yeah! You learned something. Uh, anything else? <laughs> Oh, what else did I learn? Or uh, or no, like uh, any uh, like as far as last thoughts, disagreements. Or... Oh no, I think it's interesting. Question. I think women bring something to the table. I think men are great. I think men bring something to the table. I hate that it's always this thing where we have to be going back and forth. Like, women are good for stuff. Men are good for Question. stuff. Question. Yes. Period. Is what you heard about us? confirmed today or do you feel like different about it or just or the same way? Good question. Um, I mean, I don't think you're misogynist. Really? Misogyny. Dude, we, we're, we're too soft today, bro. We should <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I will admit that I am a sexist, though, because I don't think men and women are equal, but reality is sexist. But I mean, in general, like, because I, my, a lot of my viewpoints, like, I don't believe that women should, like, I have a, mis- I don't have a misogynistic viewpoints because a lot of things I hear people say is taken to an extreme, but I do believe, it, I guess I'm old fashioned, we'll say. So you're a sexist? If that's what you want to call it. Old fashioned literally is being sexist, treating women differently based on their gender. That is sexism. Welcome to the club. Okay. You're, you're one of us, nigga. Yeah. I'm not one of you. I'm not going to be taken to an extreme. I'm not you're one of us. Because like, like, any, because all, like, a lot of you guys made arguments for sexism. Like, oh, men aren't chivalrous anymore. Men are weak. Like, that's an argument for sexism because chivalry in itself is sexist. Don't worry. I'm independent too. You're, you're treating, you're treating I'm a someone boss, nigga. different. I'm a boss, you're treating nigga. someone different based on their gender. That is the definition of sexism. Uh, so I guess I am sexist. Yeah, we 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 boss niggas know. up in this bitch. Okay. Period. 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 Yeah. Yeah. All right, Miss Tel Aviv. Uh, last thoughts, disagreements, or points, or? Um, no, I just had a good time. I enjoyed um listening to everybody and their opinions, also to you, okay. both Ooh. of you, obviously. Especially you. Um, <laughs> And mm. to um, you know, also express my opinion. So thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank, thank you. you. Uh, do, you like, do you like Netanyahu? I'm not getting into politics. So <laughs> I'm <not> getting into <laughs> that. <laughs> All right. Would you break the lineage for um, Arabic? Yes, sir. No, we're supposed to be sworn enemies. Mm. I mean, would you? No, yes, we're not enemies. We're distant ah, cousins. Yeah. Yeah. We're all Semites. Get her, get her married. <laughs> all right, what about you? Get her married, what yes, sir. Thoughts? So, Just... you guys know I love to be here. Oh. I think you guys are amazing, and I changed a lot since I came here the first time. What's the number wow. one thing you changed? You know, her hair. My only <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you quit your OnlyFans? Yeah. Really? Wait, really? Really? Yeah. You quit there because we're real. Do you guys remember? Yo, I don't. I mean, <laughs> wait. Did you guys tell her to quit the OnlyFans? No, no. no. We didn't tell her. Wait, we... what made you want to quit your OnlyFans? Because you said you like after coming on the show. That's what persuaded you. Convinced you. So we never tell girls to quit OnlyFans. We just simply tell them that hey, if you get in certain profession, it's gonna limit your options with men in the future. That's what we tell them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, typically, you can, you can I was want. being treated differently since I started the OnlyFans. Respectfully, yeah, I can, somebody fact check this. Somebody double check. <laughs> Come on, double, double check. <laughs> okay. They not believe in you. Um, cool. All right, guys. Uh, this is a good panel. Thank you, ladies, yeah, for coming in and giving your uh, viewpoints, even though you might not agree with everything. But um, we're we're gonna end the show here, guys. Uh, don't forget to uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. All the girls' Instagrams are below. Go ahead and send them a dick pic. I think they're all single except for one. <laughs> I think they would enjoy it. We'll catch you guys on the next episode of Fresh and Fit on Wednesday. Peace. Peace. Peace.